Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the morning wood. I am so glad you could jump up on my wood. It's going to be a long, throbbing, pulsating, ejaculating kind of dick show. <sighs> Got to get the dick jokes in. And it's the same dick jokes too every time. Uh, <clears throat> anyways, welcome to the show. Uh, we got Jeff Holiday coming. He'll be look, 10 minutes late. I knew this yesterday. We're going to be 10 minutes late. Tomorrow on the show, uh, we we did have GDR uh, scheduled also tomorrow, but she will not be able to make it. She's sick. She'll be here next Wednesday or next whatever this day is. Wednesday, right? Tuesday. It's Tuesday. <laughs> next, <laughs> Tuesday. <laughs> next Wednesday, she will be here. Not tomorrow, but Barbara for you to see will be here. Frank from uh, Geek uh, Room will be here, and I'm sure I'll get some probably Ann or somebody will be here. Uh, so that'll be still good because Barbara's fucking awesome, yeah, yeah, she's great. So she'll be here tomorrow, and uh, that's pretty much all the announcements right now. I still got a lot of shit going on to get the room done. Uh, I got stuff coming in as soon as all my stuff comes in, I'm gonna tear this room apart and uh, put everything up. And uh, it's gonna be looking good and straight, and we're gonna end up moving over to to uh, uh, Twitch for the show. Once I'm able to get my OBS working, something's going on where I can't capture stuff. I don't know what's going on. We're trying to figure it out. Other than that, it's all good. As I said earlier, Jeff Holligay will be here a little shortly. But right now, we're also joined by the awesome, wonderful Landon Noel. How you doing, buddy? Hello there. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending upon your times and latitude from your friendly secular astronomer. Yeah. And that's uh, Landon without a K. Landon without a K. And uh, Lankin. And we're also joined by Anna Mather. Hey, what's up, everyone? Glad to be here. The local meth head. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why. That's why uh, Pimp brings me on the stream to raise awareness. You know. Yeah, to raise awareness. He 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 knows all the good places to get it. So he meth awareness, autism awareness, um, homosexual awareness, awareness African American awareness. Yeah, yeah. That's really important where you live, Pimp. Bitch awareness. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I live in a I live in a town that's mostly black folk. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I yeah, I live in a very very black town. Yeah. Uh, I look like a cream drop in a black coffee. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, nah, actually, it's pretty cool. I, I know most of the yeah. people right here, they are, they're all right. Um, somebody said update. It's it's actually updated as it can be updated, Wizard. Um, it, it, it can't update it no more. Than it's the newest one. Hey, good morning, Nick. I think nice it's something to, to do with my I don't know what's going on with the same, but we'll figure it out. We're getting there. We are getting there. And um, one inch at a time, right? Yes, one inch at a time. Uh, the one of the stories I was going to jump into this morning. Um, well, well, I was a nine-year-old boy convinces his town in Colorado to overturn a law that banned snowball fights. Whoa! They yeah. had that. In, they had that in law. That's crazy. A young boy had a young boy named Dane Best lobbied to convince the leaders of his northern Colorado town to overturn a nearly century old ban on snowball fights. Best gave a speech during a town board meeting on Monday night, and the leaders voted unanimously to overturn the ban. Oh, so that's one of those crazy old laws that just never got removed or updated. That's really insane that that's even around. Well, I, I wonder what prompted somebody to put that law in the first place. I know. Was it just some old Scrooge who didn't like seeing kids have fun? So like, Or somebody. I mean, look, some of these laws, like these old laws have been put together for some reason, I guess. But maybe somebody got hurt and, like you said, some, you know... Old Scrooge like, well, that kid got hurt. We don't want more kids to get hurt, you know, and boom, boom. And, and then they ruin children's fun for a hundred years. Or the very early version of the concerned mothers that are like, think of the children, somebody. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's crazy. Some of these old laws are crazy. But the kid got up there and gave a big old speech, and everybody was like, yay. And then they had a snowball fight this morning, and 12 kids died. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be something, huh? <laughs> that would be fucking to me that would be hilarious 
Yeah. To uh, most people, like, oh, kids are dead. I'd be like, yeah, you little bastard. You got the lobster. That like, really is did. the ultimate form of black comedy when you think about it. Yeah, look what you did, you little fucker. <laughs> yeah, I hope you killed 12 kids, you bastard. I hope you, you can live with yourself. Because of you, you fucker. <laughs> well, I mean, maybe, maybe you had something where what happened was that the, uh, you know, there was, there was like a horse that was, startled by a snowball and someone fell off or you know something there's got to be some history behind yeah that's that. true or something like that i mean a century ago there might not not might not even been cars it might have been you know someone startled a horse which was ran over somebody who knows who knows <laughs> hit a horse in the head with a snowball and a motherfucker went crazy and trampled 18 children mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, Pim Monk. <laughs> You've got a creative imagination. I'll, I'll, I'll say that. Yeah, I kind of do. I just want kids to die. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, all right. The next one, which will be very interesting in Landon's part of the world, is Science Mind. And I know he knows this shit very well. The moon and Venus are hanging out together. Oh. Many were watching the sky and enjoying the view as the planet was clearly visible beside a crescent moon. And here uh, I will show the picture, and I'm pretty sure Landon already knew about this, but there it is right there. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was pretty sweet. It was pretty if you assume you didn't have clouds that were obscuring it. But, yeah, yeah, it's pretty nice. It's pretty neat. Yeah. I'll tell yeah, you what. Venus is, Venus is pretty good bright uh, in, its, in its phase around the sun. It's yeah. close to the Earth, and it's got a nice crescent, and it's very shiny. So, it looks it looks pretty good next to the moon. That's cool. It is cool. Um, they it says they got this whole thing here, which I don't know. I'm not I'm not smart. You know me, but I'm pretty sure you can explain this shit. Oh, this is basically like Spanish to me. I don't, I don't know what it's saying. Yeah. It's well, like... well, it's talking about just showing you the positions of the moon on different dates, right? From December uh -huh. 2nd, December 3rd. So this being December 4th for most of us, although yeah. those people in Australia, they're probably, they're probably, you know, they're, they're way in the future. Um, <laughs> but other than that, uh, you can see the planet Venus and the planet Mercury. So they're, what they're saying is uh -huh. that an hour before sunrise, so the sun is about 15 degrees down, uh -huh. um, Mercury is just barely rising on, on the, uh, horizon and Venus is is up a ways, right? Mm. And you can tell where Arcturus is. That's another star. So Venus, Venus and the Moon basically are passing each other. Um, appear to be passing each other in the sky. Obviously, the Venus is much sure. much farther away, right? Yeah. And so and so as you get closer and closer to the new Moon, um, the Moon gets close up uh, more in line with the Sun. Yeah. Um, but Venus and Mercury don't move as fast around the Earth, you know, angular-wise, than, than... It's than good to have a motherfucker know this shit, ain't it? I know. So, so, one of the problems is that Mercury is, is, is pretty hard to see, right? And say an hour yeah. before, uh, hour before sunrise, you'll, you'll, it'll just barely be getting up above the horizon, which means if you have any trees or any mountains in the way, you, you, you won't be able to see it. And the problem is, as you get closer and closer to the sunrise, the sky gets brighter and brighter. It's harder to even see, and you need you, you need to be above the horizon because there's all kinds of schmutz down in the yeah down in the lower levels anyway. So I love hanging out with Landon because you can go like Landon will point the shit out like there's Saturn, there's this, there's that. I'm like I didn't even know that. I just thought that was some glowy balls up in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Glowy I'm balls. such an idiot. <laughs> glowy <laughs> balls. Hashtag glowy balls. <laughs> I'm such a dumbass glowy ball. <laughs> Another cop stars people. I just, I'm an idiot. White dots. I just say things because. Wait, well, dots, as my brother calls them. Yeah, they call what? Glow dots. My brother calls them white dots. Oh, uh, white dots. Uh, See, from now, on, stars shall be known as glowy balls, though. <laughs> you does. know, Landon, I've actually got a theory that they're just big, oversized, like fireflies, just floating out in space. That's all they are. Cosmic, cosmic fireflies. I'm yeah, sure, cosmic. Fireflies. I'm sure somebody somewhere has some mythology about something. Oh, I'm sure. I'm as, sure. as far as people like getting their telescopes out and stuff and looking for planets and stuff, what is like the best time of the night or whatever to see like you know these planets? Well, um, couple of things. If, if you're if you're a um, 
I, I prefer the after sunset, you know, at, in the evening rather than the morning. Yeah. The problem with the morning is, is it starts getting lighter, and, and whereas, um, you know, if you wait, uh, the other, well, well a cup, another thing is that um, the ground has to cool down, right? When, when the ground is, is, is warm relative to the air, mm-hmm. um, then you get heat rising up and everything shimmers. That, those nice, quote, twinkling stars means you're seeing sucks, right? Mm-hmm. You're going to see a bunch of blurry things that's going to be there. But um, so, so a typical thing might be that as you get closer towards, let's say, um, you know, 22, 23, right? Uh, or people call you know, 11 mm-hmm. p.m. Yeah. Um, your, the, the ground has a chance to cool down relative to the air. And so there's very little temperature difference. And so the air becomes very, very stable. Oh. So, so not only is it dark by then, and your eyes have had a chance to dark adapt, but the ground and the air are no longer turbulent, and the air becomes really still, and the seam comes really, really good. Oh, oh. So, that, so that's why in the summer everything gets all blurry when it's really hot outside? Yeah. Yeah, yeah oh, and okay. that's just, that's sort of, sort of is, that's, that's the light being bent because different temperature of air, you know, the, the different um, densities yeah. causes light to basically you know, bend on its way through. So rather than it be nice and straight and see a nice clean image, it becomes all wow, that's, that's why we that's why we want to that's why we want to put up telescopes up in space like the Hubble, where it's mm-hmm. above the atmosphere and doesn't doesn't uh, get bothered by all that sort of stuff. But for those that have to be lived down here, <laughs> you know, um, yeah. you, you, the better thing to do is to go to some place high altitude, uh, if possible, cold if possible, yeah. um, and uh, and dark. I just got a message from Je- Jeff Afa H- Holligay. And uh, uh, Jeff Shives, Lord Docs mm. Almighty, <laughs> he will be. He's rushing home. He said, "Sweet." Uh, I wanted to show this. This is fucking hilarious, man. Uh, we all know about the Griswolds, right? The Christmas movies and stuff. The Griswolds. Yeah. And one of the most famous scenes was where he was putting up Christmas lights, and he fell from the roof, and he, he was hanging on by the gutter, right? Well, somebody uh, did that for the Christmas decorations. They did this right here. They put up a dummy and all that to, you know, to represent the movie. Well, let me guess. Someone called the police. Someone, someone seen it and ran to the house to help the guy. <laughs> <laughs> So it's pretty fucking. Well, hilarious. that was nice of them. Yeah, um, yeah, that's 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 and, more considerate. Yeah, it is. I thought this was when we showed this because from a distance, it does look like somebody. Uh, yeah, it does actually. Uh, so in the dude's defense, if you've seen this from a distance, you'd think, "Hey, this motherfucker's hanging from the." Road. I got to help that guy out. Yeah, but it, clever. I I love the idea that he did that. That uh. Because I just enjoyed that movie very much. We were talking about this the other day. Red Eye was talking about a remake of the Griswolds and stuff like that. And I think that Will Ferrell would be perfect for that role. I really do, in my opinion. But yeah, no, that'd be that'd be interesting to see. Yeah, I love Will Ferrell. Oh. So, anyways, Kanye. Oh God. Gives apology to share show laid over cell phone etiquette. What? What do you say to share? Something okay. On opening night of the Broadway production, Jared Spector, who plays Sonny Bono, called out Kanye, um, Kanye West mid show for looking at his cell phone during the show. Oh, okay. So during the show of the Sonny Share play or whatever, Kanye was looking at his phone, which is Look, I've never been to a play, or like a, one of the big, you know, Broadway plays, anything, but I think everybody knows that is just bad fucking etiquette. Uh-huh. Well, it's also the fact that that glowing thing disturbs other people around yeah. you, right? Your, yeah, your, exactly. your, your house lights are dim. They've done all the, the set, uh, set people, lighting people have gone to great lengths to try to give you the experience that, that the director wants to give you. And yeah. you will go there and open this glowy thing and, uh, you know, and, and, and are typing away, particularly if you got one of those stupid click keyboards as well. Yes, right. D, 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 thing. And, and um, yeah, it just, it's just um, inconsiderate to other people around. But it's Kanye, so I kind of expect that. 
I think it's annoying enough when people are on their phone in the middle of movies, for at least, you know, I get it for a little bit if you have to check something, but for the entire time, I find it annoying. So it's even more annoying when you're doing it during a live performance, because putting on a play is a lot, it's hard work. It's really I'm hard work. I'm sorry, if you have to check something, you shouldn't be in the movie. Yeah, you should step up, you should step up and go out into the lobby. Yeah. Yeah, sure, sure. I mean, you know, yeah, because that is just horrible, especially in a play, okay? Like, if you're watching a movie, it's still bad, but a play, you have live human beings up exactly. on stage. It's worse, you yeah. Know, I mean, yeah, it's, it's just, just, yeah. So can you imagine right now, here's here's Pet Monk performing, mm -hmm. and someone out there is on their cell phone, you know, texting. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, the man is is working hard at work, Oh, he's also, you can tell he's professional, right? He's focused on the microphone and, and, exactly. and the show. Yep. And, you, and you're time. off there doing something else. And he's like, he see how, how, how he's performing with his, his, you know, cleaning something off the floor. Yep. Uh, probably his leg. I bet you his leg leaked or something like that. That might be. Uh, oh, man, yeah. just, blood. My leg just busted open bleeding. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. Like, it is. Man, look. That's wow. crazy. Him, maybe you should go step away. Uh, to yeah. go. We'll, we'll, step, uh, out of, step out of the lobby. We'll, we'll entertain. Get, yeah, we'll go, entertain. Him, go, go take care of yourself. And, yeah, please. Please go take we'll, care of yourself. Will. And we'll... Uh, we'll uh, anyway, so... Sorry about this, guys. Meanwhile, right, um, I do recommend when you're in a play to not bleed because uh, it messes up the performance. Unless, of course, it's part of the performance, right? Yeah, yeah, if, yeah, you're, yeah. if you're a performer in House of Blood, then, you know... Yeah, if you'll go that if you're gonna go the extra mile to actually use like your real blood, then you know you deserve like a, a performance award. I'd say. Yes, yes, and that's that's the quality thing about Pim Monk Show. Yeah, is he no no artificial blood here. I mean, he's he's bleeding the real stuff. Yep. And uh, for that, you deserve a tip. So so if you can consider tipping or yeah, becoming there, a patron, if there's any time to surprise Pim Monk with a tip, I'd say it's about right now. Uh, I'd very much appreciate if you guys would support him. I mean, how many how many uh, performers bleed for you? Literally, not yeah, just totally. metaphorically. Literally. Yes, yes. So, so anyway, so did you did you get a chance to see the Venus and the Moon this morning? Or uh, yeah, yeah, I did. I, I did look into that. I, you know, so, uh, sometimes I've been. I, I I used to be more out of the loop when it came to that type of stuff, but uh, I, I took a few courses in college, and actually, cool. I become I become like more of a more of a casual. Uh, observer of that type of stuff and i've taken some interest in it so yeah i, I did and, and particularly i i like to just watch the seasons go by and watch the planets same. move around and so forth. same here although the moon kind of zips a little bit too fast for me to catch and uh, <laughs> and then of course yeah. mercury i can only catch when it's like uh, to the side of the sun one side or the other and then typically if it's in the morning i'm less likely to be you know up way early but that's just me I definitely think it's something that people should take interest in, at least have an awareness of, because it, you know it just kind of shows like how much there is out there, like how much uh, humanity still has uncharted out in the universe, and it, it's kind of humbling, you know. It also shows you how much we have charted, because we actually know where Venus is going to yep. be and where Mercury is going to be, and that sort a of lot of progress that. from even thousands of like a, a thousand years ago or a hundred years ago. So. Yeah, the, the 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 ages when it used to be that that was telling the fortune and so forth. Now we know where it is. Yep. It's all science spoiled the mystery of, of the <laughs> motions of the planets. Yeah, on there, um, unless and so so um, the other thing, of course, is is that that yeah. So so Venus Venus gets to be quite bright as as it gets closer to the Earth, right? So, so first of all, Venus goes is, mm -hmm. is 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 the next planet closest planet to the sun. So yep. we always see Venus going around the sun, either on this side or this side, you know, um, but, it, but it's always interior to the sun. Okay. And when Venus gets close to the Earth, right, it gets bigger, right? Yep. So bigger is normally more, the, the, the Venus, Venus reflects light from the sun. So the closer it is to Earth, the bigger it is. But the problem is that if Venus is right in front of the sun or in line, the, the lit part is the back. It's like a new moon, right? The new Venus, the, 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 oh, okay. the brilliant parts of the side. If you want to see a full Venus, like the girl with the full moon, Venus is going to be on the other side of the sun, right? Or And so let's say well, it's not right on the sun, so just a little bit behind. You're going to have to look all the way 
from the Earth's distance to the Sun and the Sun's distance back to Venus in order to see it. Right, so it's, it's Venus when it's full is much farther from the Earth than when it's when it's close. So you want to have about when it's when it's the most brightest. You want to yeah. have a reasonable crescent, right? So you want to be somewhat full, but mm -hmm. you want to be close to the Earth. So so the the result is it's it's we're you know, entering a period where Venus is going to be quite bright because it's 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 off to the side, close to the Earth. We got a little bit of crescent, so it'll shine. But not too far away, so it won't be too. Wow, bright. I wasn't expecting to learn this much today. <laughs> so, but, but Mercury, yeah. Mercury's <laughs> hard. Mercury, on the other hand, is hard to see. It's 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 so close to the sun. Um, at most, you can get about twenty-seven degrees off of the off of the sun. So that means um, on a so it's about fifteen degrees. It means that it Mercury might rise a little bit before two hours before before sunrise or set. Two or so set at the most, right? And of course, when it's on the horizon, it's too dim because all the dust and so forth. So, so really, when you're talking about sunrise or sunset, there may be like a half hour, forty-five minutes at the most. You could see it reasonably because um, looking at the sun is is not recommend. Well, you, you have solar filters, but the solar filter is going to cause the sun to just to be so dim mm -hmm. that you're not going to see anything but the sun, right? So, um, yeah, that's true. So and it, and even telescopes like the Hubble um, Space Telescope mm -hmm. can't point that close to the sun. Really? Um, you say, well, you know, what's in fact uh, the Hubble's not supposed to point within fifty degrees of the sun. The the problem is you got a mirror in the back of the telescope. I mean, that's that's why it's a telescope. Yeah. And and okay, so they don't point it right at the sun, but if you're pointing off to the side, the sunlight enters into the the tube mm -hmm. and bounces off to the side. And remember, the telescope is focusing. So if you're off to the side, the light sunlight comes in your telescope, bounces off the mirror, and burns a hole in the side of the, of the telescope. Oh, really? Right. Yeah. I mean, it'll 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 concentrate that light down to a, to a point and, and 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 fry itself. So they don't, you know, they they make sure that that telescope stays well away from the from the sun. Wow. And of course, you have to because you know it's early, it's going around the Earth, so yeah. um, you have to kind of be careful where it is and so forth as, as well. So. So um, that zone around the sun is is too too risky for a telescope like that. You can build specialized telescopes that are really you know have a very very narrow field of view. But again, um, that's not what the Hubble or those telescopes are like. So so the Hubble will never be able to take a picture of, of Venus or Mercury um, safely. I didn't even know that. Yeah, that must it must require some precision to get anything done with that at all. Yeah. So you if you have a if you have a telescope that's really long focal length, very very <laughs> narrow focus, right? So that would mean it's very difficult for the for light because again you don't want light straight light to come in, bounce off the mirror and go off to the side. So if you got a if you think of a very very long tube with a narrow field of yep. view, you can get closer to the sun. But of course you still can't point at the sun unless of course you have a specialized filter. Or something to block the light of the sun, because then you'll fry lots of things. So. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. That that would not be good. I, I was told that when I was a kid not to look at the sun. So. Yeah, and generally, I I suppose that 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 most people figure that out. I, yeah, I uh, if you actually try to do it, if you actually make the mistake of trying to do it, then you'll. Uh, oh, hey there, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, if you make a mistake of looking at the sun, you'll you'll figure it out. Why? I mean, I. Yeah. Primitive cave people figured out not to look at the sun. Otherwise, That's true. we probably wouldn't be here. I mean, even dinosaurs were, were not so dumb as to stare at the sun. At least the ones that survived. Yeah, that's true. For a while. Hey there, How Jeff. How you doing there, Jeff? I swear to God. Like, so <laughs> I had, a, I had a, a pretty long night, woke up pr feeling pretty rough, pretty rough. Uh, and then and then rushed and I got the kid all ready and I start taking him to school. I'm like, all right, I got to get back. Got to get back. Got to get on the show. On my way home, I saw a five mile an hour car crash. Oh, five mile an hour car crash. Mm hmm. Two people dropping off their fucking kids and they 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 wreck right in the middle. Just, oh. a, just a fucking bump. Uh, but the 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 girl who got hit was like, oh, I'm not moving out of the way to deal with this. No, she stops her car right in the middle of the damn intersection, gets out and starts snapping pictures. I almost jumped out of my fucking car being like, yo, I need to get on the morning wood. Come on. But I 
Yeah, yeah. I need people to say, "Oh, I got to preserve evidence." No, you don't. Right? Yeah. And, and, shouted anyway, that out yes. loud, Jeff. I'm sure that you would have gotten some interesting reactions if you did. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm already on enough lists as it is. Oh, okay. By the way, we're cool, we're we're having to ad lib because Pimp Monk started leaking. Yeah. 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 He had a yeah. bit of an issue, so that fucking bum leg of his, man. I swear to Christ. I know. Yeah. He said it was getting better. I'm concerned, man. I, I just want the guy to be okay. You know? He's he's like one of my favorite people on the internet. He needs he needs to be in tip top shape for the rest it's of true. us. Absolutely, absolutely. So, so so how are you doing? What's uh, besides besides a five uh, five, five mile an hour? hour. <laughs> that's, that's about that's about eight kilometers an hour for those that are not the world's yeah. the world's slowest car crash. Uh, yeah. Aside from that, I mean, I guess I'm okay. I. Uh, I fucking uh, broke a five hundred dollar monitor last night, which that was mm. kind of a bummer. Yeah, how, broke how, in a major way or broke that? in a in a minor way? Oh, it's fucked. Yeah, it's fucked. It's got a big old yeah. crack. Right he posted a, a picture of it on Twitter. It's it's bad. I started I started posting on on my Instagram like it with sad music behind it and shit because yeah. I was really yeah. depressed about it. I was I was pulling down a roll of carpet. Uh, from the rafters, and yeah. I just I lost my grip, and it fell like right here and smashed my third monitor. Like it's ah. it's. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Sorry about What's that. The... No, Sorry I mean it, it was it was good. Uh, it was a good inspiration. To, like go out and, uh, and and get completely obliterated last night with some friends. So that's fine. You know, yeah. It's all good. So oh, we're getting the full Jeff Holiday experience today, huh? What up, brother? I'm, I'm maybe bleeding to fucking death over here, man. Oh, what the fuck? What the hell? It's like a little. All of a sudden, you know, I got these leg problems. I this little, yeah. and my leg just busted the fuck open, a little pinhole, and there's puddles of fucking blood. I mean, puddles of blood. Everywhere. I can see it on you, pimp monk. Yeah, look, there's blood all over me, dude. Jeez, man. And it's just like, fuck. I don't want to die. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't. I don't want you to die either. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I want the opposite. Please. So are are you are you still bleeding or are you just Yeah, but I got it wrapped up. I got like a gauze and I, I we got a tight towel also around it just for extra pressure. Yeah, yeah. Um but yeah, I'll be all right. It's just what one thing what it is, you know, I retain all this fluid, right? Mm -hmm. And 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 the blood and the fluid together is like squirting out and it's like really it look I think it looks worse than it is, I hope anyway. Yeah, okay. Um uh, I hope I don't die. Yeah, don't do that. That's not yeah. good because yeah, that's yeah, that's bad. I I I do believe you get demonetized if you die. They will uh, demonetize you if you die. They will. <laughs> they will. Yeah, I don't. It's a joke. It probably is. It probably is against the community guidelines service too, right? Yeah, it, it, it probably says somewhere in there if you die, we'll give you a community strike. Unless you're Logan Paul <laughs> suicide. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he didn't fucking get away with anything, Chris. <laughs> Um, well, yeah, no, it was I was hard for me to tell that was a joke because of how YouTube is these days. But uh, so I, I was listening on my way uh, on my way home, and uh, you said something, pimp, that I think was 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 pretty important actually. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, like I don't I don't like remakes. I don't like ho Hollywood remakes usually. But fuck me, man! Like the idea of Will Ferrell playing Clark Griswold. That's a good idea. It's an awesome idea, isn't it? Yeah, I, I think I, think I can awesome. get on board. I can get I can get on board with that. It sounds awesome. It's like when I heard that Tom Hanks was playing Mr. Rogers, I was like, yes, because I Is think he? that's yes, he's playing Mr. Rogers. Wow, and I, th and I think that's a, I think it's a pretty good idea. That is a really good idea because Damn. Mr. Rogers was like one of my heroes growing up as a kid. Yeah. I mean, here's a guy who did this shit for you know he really cared about children. If you look in the documentaries and yeah. shit. And there's no fucking hidden secrets. You know, he wasn't really sticking his dick up a child's ass or anything. He was really a good like guy. Michael Jackson. Yes, because Michael Jackson was a child molesting fucking nugget. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. uh, a little known fact: when I got my degree in math and physics, um, they gave Mister Rogers an honorary degree, and he spoke at my graduation. Yeah. If, oh, really? He got some good speeches cool. out there. Too. Oh, yeah. He's he's actually nice. He's nice. He's Elegant. very a very pleasant person. I got the. Speaker Very elegant. Language. Reminds me of me a lot, you know. Quite <laughs> elegant. Yeah, although I don't think I don't think he leaks as much as you do. I, apparently, not. God damn, I feel, honestly, right now I feel weak as cat piss. Even though cat piss is pretty strong. Jesus Christ, man! I, 
I'm kind of shaking and shit right now, dude. Uh, Pimp Monk, that's not good. Every, every word that you're saying is making me more concerned. You should... Well, it's just, and also, but you understand, I pan, I have panic stuff, so I, I, I seen all that blood, and I, I started panicking a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. Yeah. So, so do you want to? Oh, I'm continuing. You, 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 I'm you a fucking dog. We, we can, we can, we can, we can ad lib while you uh, clean yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. What do you mean, Jeff's here? He's unprofessional. That's oh, right. <laughs> I need a babysitter. <laughs> it's yeah, too yeah. true. Yeah, so he was talking about this eight kilometer an hour uh, auto crash. Yeah. Uh, that, yeah. That. The world's the world's slowest uh, car crash happened on my way trying to get to the show. Um, cause, cause they, these, these, these mommies were like dropping off their kids and shit and they got into a little, little fender bender and they had, uh, they had, to, uh, one of them had to like jump out and immediately start taking pictures. Like they wouldn't just pull over to the side of the road. She had to, right there in the middle of the intersection just starts taking pictures and shit. But, uh, I was so down for getting on the show. I almost jumped up Pim Monk and was like, yo, move your car. I gotta get on the morning wood. <laughs> you should have shot. So him. was it, was it a rear end or a, or a head on collision? No, nah, it was a uh, like one was one was pulling out and the other one was pulling forward and the one who was pulling forward was impatient. So when that one like pumped the brakes a little bit, she just kind of scraped a little bit. Like it was just the it was the most avoidable fucking stupid wreck with impatient annoying mommies. So yeah, I don't know. Like I got I got mad okay. I have mad respect for for women. I do. Uh especially women who who you know do all the child rearing and take care of the kids and fucking and take them to school, which is what I do, you know. So I got mad respect for it. My fucking god, they're some of the most obnoxious people on the planet. I cannot fucking stand most mothers. They fucking make me so pissed off. They're always impatient, they're always aggressive. And for some fucking reason, they all decided to join up on Facebook and start tweeting about how vaccines cause autism. And that's, oh, yeah, like, yeah. that's like 90 percent of my whole fucking problem with life right now. Yeah. So, <clears throat> yeah. It's true, though. Vaccines do. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> but but do autism does autism cause vaccines? Yes. Yeah. Um, backwards. Damn. I mean, uh, maybe it's maybe it's like a, a weird Ouroboros, you know, and so. Uh, yeah. The vaccines had to create the autism, so the autism could then create the vaccines. Yeah, if, if, if I can have a cure for the problem, if we just we need to kill all the autistic kids. <laughs> oh, fuck. oh yeah, then we won't have any more, any anymore, right? Okay. All right. Yeah, it'd be better for the human race as a whole, right? Uh, yep. Yep. Okay. Uh. Oh, oh sh we got hooded. We got hooded Jeff now. Yep. <clears throat> Man, I'm hungover as fuck. Whatever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like I said, it's the authentic Jeff Holiday experience that we're getting. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, when I'm when I'm gonna be on a show, especially one that I I, I actually really care about, like the thing that I I have to do to give the full the full experience is I got to make sure I go out and get so mind fuckingly drunk. I start babbling at my friend how I'm sorry I I can't bang you tonight. I got to be on a show tomorrow. It's totally cool. I got to hop in this Uber now and get the fuck out of here. Yeah, uh, oh, I, I, pass I out need... without any water and then wake up feeling like this. This is how you get me. Yeah, yes, the it full experience. You, you know, Jeff's dedicated to helping out your show when he comes on it with a hangover. Somebody in the chat room said Jeff stealing Von Helton's valor with that shirt. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Jeff's the real Punisher. Well, it's all right, though, because Von Helton's moved on to Doctor Strange, right? That is really weird. <laughs> yeah, that's why I cover him on every single episode of my show. Yeah, he's got no teeth, either. Yeah. By the way, we have the same Wait, really? uh, mugs. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, hey, shit. Hey, cheers. Hey, cheers. This is some kind of fucking thing going on here. Are y'all trying to take over the world? Maybe. Yeah. With these cups. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly, it's rather. Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe it's in my mind, but I, my body feels weird right now. I, I, I overthink. Well, you were things. you were startled. Yeah. Well, I just looked down, and all of a sudden, my leg was literally looked like the you know the movie blood. Oh uh, wow! Uh, uh, yeah, Pimp Pim Monk, make sure that you have plenty of water next to you, and that you're. I got yeah. Coke Zero. I'm good. It's got water in it. <laughs> no, 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 Pim Monk, Pim Monk, get Coke, Coke Zero and water are water, not the same thing. I, I, I think you may want to be less naturally caffeinated. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, you know, if, if you lose too much blood, you could always use uh, Coke Zero as a as a plasma replacement. Exactly. Yeah, that's true. That's true. 
Yeah, Actually, so. Coke Zero is just blood dark. <laughs> I have no idea what I just said. Okay. Are you saying it's ethnostate blood? Yeah. Ethno state mm. blood. Oh, oh, look at you landing with a little JF humor. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was expecting that. Hello? Did someone say the <laughs> ethnostate? <laughs> Wait a minute, I gotta forget this. Wait a minute. This oh, is this God. is my this is my topic. Uh, I like uh, the ethno state. Uh, <laughs> let me tell you, I love love to maybe bring some of your autistic children over to my trash island. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, uh, but only for thirty audience. minutes. Yeah, only for that. Yeah, I love that that happened on my show. That that meme got started on my show, and yeah. he was mad at me for months because of that shit. And I'm like, motherfucker, you said it. I didn't. I just played along with it because as soon as you said it, I know. In the back of my mind, I said, "That's a fucking meme. That's a fucking meme." Mm -hmm. Yep. People got memes about me. Shit, cigarette, and I never even said the fucking thing. And that meme's out there. So yes, yours. Fuck you jail. You but, own that shit, man. Yeah, cigarettes. But no, J JF really is like the real life trash man. He picks up all the all the white trash in the world mm -hmm. and he throws it into his garbage ethno state. You know. Well, JF's one of those motherfuckers that really likes to dish shit out but can't take it. I yes. mean, I've noticed. I mean, look. Okay, look. I'm. A, I've got several memes about me. Jeff here. I mean, fuck. He's known as Doc. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right. He owns that shit. I own that shit. If you can't own a meme, get the fuck off the internet. Yeah. They, they did an episode of the Drunken Peasants recently where JF made an appearance and uh they had that guy on that that, that guy Finn on with him and he was in a Nazi uniform and it was oh. it was just so amusing to see JF's like <laughs> react in the background because because JF was like tugging at his collar and everything. It was it was a sight to see, man. I, I gotta show you, like, send you like a clip, well, Jeff. You'd you'd love it. Jeff had his girlfriend take a twenty three and me test to prove she wasn't a Jew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Yeah, that's yeah. But did did crazy. did he take a test to prove oh. that he was a Jew? Oh, crap. I don't even think that accent's real. <laughs> Uh, I've heard from many people that it's greatly exaggerated. He's actually from uh, like uh, fucking Massachusetts, Boston. <laughs> he's, he is? Uh, no. Mass you believe everything. <laughs> <don't> Massachusetts. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, 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 it's so far fetched that someone could be from Boston, right? Pimp? So, how do you pronounce it? Massachusetts? Uh, Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Yeah. Massachusetts. <laughs> I'm fucking. Cause see, I try to create memes about myself. Yeah. <laughs> because if if they're if they're quoting you every day, they're remembering. They're you thinking about day. you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah absolutely. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, no. You know, it's it's crazy too. Like uh, the I, I some people get the wrong idea and they think that like I have this big like hate boner for Jeff. I really don't. I don't have a hate boner for him. Uh, you know, I, I actually have quite a bit of compassion for the guy. I don't really think he quite understands why what he what he does sometimes is wrong. I don't think he yeah, quite I gets agree. it. I, I kind of think that maybe JF himself is, is probably autistic in some way, but uh, so I have some compassion for him. I don't hate the guy. His yeah. ideas are just shit, you know, whatever. Yeah, a lot but, of people don't realize you've said this before today. He's not like your biggest enemy. That would yeah. belong to Andy Worski. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't fucking, I don't hate anybody on the internet. I really don't. There have been people who have made like shit tons of money, like trashing on me, name, whatever. People who have just done awful, abhorrent, terrible things. I don't hold a grudge. Some of it I think is funny. Some of it I think is like, okay, that's kind of fucked up. Uh, but I, I, I don't know. take any of it too personally. Except Andy Worski. That's the one. That's that's oh, that's, that's the one. That's so so if 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 you were to give me a like a 30 second why Andy, I mean, I, I, I'm one of those people, I have no idea who that person is and oh, yeah. what you're saying, maybe I don't want to, but but if if someone doesn't know who or what Andy <laughs> Worski is why should they care or not care? Well, Andy Andy ended up doing um uh, drama streams. Drama streams started becoming like a big, big yeah. thing. And yeah. he, he was at like the vanguard of it. And that's fine. You know, that was just a turn that the internet took for a while. And it's still kind of around, but I mean, it's fine. 
Yeah. Uh, the reason why why Andy specifically is the one that I, I still dislike and I'll always dislike him is because he was actually my real life friend. Like I knew him. You know, we we hung out in real life. You know, we, we went and we partied in L.A. We had a lot of fun. Uh, I talked to him all the fucking time and he basically threw me under the bus for money. So, yeah. you know, everybody, all the other people who did it for money, like I totally get that. It's totally fine. You don't know me. I mean, if there's a way to like make money on the internet, I know that game. I know that hustle. I feel that. I feel that. I respect it even. Yeah. But Andy was my bro, and uh, that's why he's. And a so you you expected more of your friend than to I, basically I, sell you I, out. I, I didn't expect anything out of him because he was always an idiot. But uh, you know, I I just uh, I you know it's it's just strange. It was a strange. It was a strange uh, strange motivation to 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 just all of a sudden flip it, and there was no reason to either. Uh, except money, which is what's so Andy he did. flipped on everybody though, didn't he? He, he, he did. Went nuts. He did. No, he started with me, and then like when when I stopped giving him content by like re- getting baited or replying, he started throwing everybody on the bus, like some black guy. Fucking... And I was about to say that, and, and if you have a problem with Derek, you're fucking. That dude's like the nicest man on the planet. Yeah, I, mean, yes. we went, I, I, we, did, I, I met him, I guess, at at, at the last VidCon. Nice guy, really intelligent. Yeah, has yeah. you know interesting. We had interesting, I guess, science tech stuff. But yeah. So, so does Ed, did Andy cash out on this thing at least for you or or? or oh, he made oh he off? made a fucking he made a grip of money. Uh huh. And then he then he put it all up his fucking nose. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I never would have imagined when I first found out about Andy Worski in 2015 that just to be entirely frank with you that this milk toast skeptic. <laughs> would, become, would become so popular, get so much money, and fall so hard. I just thought, honestly, I thought Andy Worski would be kind of a nobody that people just talked about on occasion. He was nothing special to me. The fact that all this drama happened surrounding him, I can't believe it. He was sure. just in the right place at the right time, I guess. I mean, I, I don't, I, yeah, it's strange. I, I still don't wish the guy any ill will. I really I don't. Agree. I agree. But like, it, whereas, whereas, you know, like JF, for example, I, I think JF's whole ethno state shit is wrong. I think he's actually kind of a dangerous dude. Sure. But I don't wish him. I don't wish him ill. Like, I hope he has a really good life. I really do. I, I genuinely hope that JF finds happiness and success. I, I really wish that for him. And I don't wish like Andy to not have a good life. But if Andy Worski fell in front of a Zamboni machine and his <laughs> entire body was pasted into a thin red sheen of gore across an entire ice skating rink, yeah, I wouldn't how feel would, bad about it. But but how would people play hockey reasonably well on that sort of thing? Uh, like, the surface, hopefully while singing. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you have to crack a few eggs to make an omelet, you know. I see. Oh, no, that's fine. Whatever. I mean, you know, a lot of a lot of a lot of interesting stuff came out of it, though. Um, the 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 people who who got left uh, kind of thrown into the gutter after this whole drama thing, uh, it, it actually kind of signaled a, a pivotal shift for a lot of people. They stopped dealing with like shitty politics and instead trying to focus on like improving themselves, improving their content and doing things that yep, were entertaining. That's true. Uh, it made everybody actually closer as friends. Um, so, I mean, a lot of good actually came out of it. It's just not stuff that people on the internet necessarily see. Uh, so, I mean, it's fine in the end, whatever. Like, that's the thing about the internet. When you have a controversy, and this, this is something that I learned too. Mm-hmm. You have a controversy, after six months, 90% of the people who thought that this is like the worst thing ever don't give a fuck. It's and true. after a year, most people don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> they yep. just don't. Yep. But, and and by the way, that's a, that's the way it is in politics too, right? Yeah. When yep. you're you're yeah. in you you happen to be the target of some vitriol thing. Guess what? In in a couple of months, someone else will be the hit pit break because because the, the the drama, the political drama, gets old. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, really successful politicians re up their game, right? And and their shtick that they do gets out because because you know it, it again in politics and trying to get elected it's much like china sell a box of soap you know in some ways this soap is just is probably just as good as this other soap you've got to sell the brand sell the stick and so you got to create particularly you want to create those memes 
Now, some politicians don't mind if they become the target of abuse, right? And and uh, guess what? If you if there's a politician you don't like mm -hmm. because of what they do, don't propagate their meme. Mm. Ignore them. That's the yep. worst thing you can yep. do to a politician yep. is ignore mm -hmm. them. You don't prostate their memes. <laughs> prostate. <laughs> now, no, no finger up the uh, mm. the you know, no, well, don't uh, one thing I wanted to say about Andy, though, is I think Andy did not know how to handle his YouTube fame. No, he didn't. Yeah, I agree. Like, like I told you, like I said earlier, I think he was in the right place at the right time. He he did what he had to do to, to do yeah. what he did. And it kind of fucked him in the end. But I mean, he, yeah, he wasn't really cut out for that type of shit. I don't and know. one more thing. I want to thank Jeff for saying I'm one of his favorite people on the internet. I heard you that. are. Uh, you are. Yeah, you yeah. That's my sweet. nipple. Yeah, that was, that was a genuine <laughs> testimonial. Yeah, I was sitting here bleeding to death. I had the headphones on. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Oh. So if, if I die, thank you. <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll say I'll say this real quick, Jeff. I think that you should be proud of yourself and how you've handled shit, especially over this past year. Absolutely. Like, definitely, you've done a good well, job. But, I want to give a little thing about Jeff because, like I've said okay. this before, I've said this before. I didn't know Jeff. I seen Jeff online, and honestly, I had to. And it wasn't due to like the controversy that came out. Is this was before? I said I didn't like it, guy, because he because Jeff he'll tell you he comes off as a dick sometimes. I do. Yeah, but once you once I drink from the man's pickle, <laughs> <laughs> good way of putting it. That, that, yeah. Allegedly, allegedly, <laughs> no, I did. I did. I, I put, oh, shit. put my lips around his pickle. Yep, and I swallowed what the pickle had to give me. That's all right. I fell in love. <laughs> I had this, I had this, I have this flask in the shape of a pickle, and so when when me and Pimp met. Uh, at VidCon, I had it, and it was full. Of, I well, was it tequila or whiskey tequila, that day? It was tequila. It was tequila. Yeah, yeah. I was walking around being like, "Oh, hey, I'm Jeff yeah. Holiday. Would you like some pickle?" <laughs> and this started feeding people alcohol. Yeah, that's the oh, first thing he was, that to me. He's like, "Here, pimp, drink from my pickle." <laughs> yeah, I thought he was talking about your Mexican dick. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I was trying to get the impressions that it was his dick. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. Jeff was like super, like fucking straight moment there. It's my pickle. It's my flask pickle. But it's yeah, it's flaccid. it's crazy. It's flaccid pickle. My flaccid pickle. It's it's crazy how uh, how how perceptions are done online. Like yeah. I there I do have a a tendency to to come off as extremely arrogant, and a lot of it is because like inside I'm a fucking wreck, man. Like I I, I had like all sorts of crazy shit. In my life, I, I developed like all sorts of anxieties, all sorts of like self doubt. I still like I look at myself in, in in the camera. I'm like, man, you old ugly piece of shit. Like I get down on myself a lot, old but I learned a long time. Old. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I learned a long time ago that you know uh, when you when you learn tactics and techniques to try and be charismatic, uh, it can get over how you're because I'm 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 an introvert by nature but if i keep practicing at it and using like charisma uh people don't see how uncomfortable i am and that means so that you're compensating then you yeah that? yeah I, I compensate for for how uh how shitty i feel on the inside by by trying to be extra expressive yeah. and and confident so i fake it until i make it and also, uh, also a lot of people don't realize you do add a character to this YouTube shit. I mean, you, you have to create uh, stuff and you have to be entertaining. So sometimes dick being a dick is entertaining. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, if fucking people, people love, people love assholes. Yeah. I mean, some of the most controversial people who are, have also been like the most popular. In fact, <laughs> Howard Stern, yeah, massively man. popular for decades, massively popular dudes an asshole. I bet he's a really sweet guy in real life, though. Uh, he hates podcasters. I do know that. Yeah. And I don't like that because it, it pisses me off. It was like, Howard, you were, when you first started out, people said you couldn't make it. You couldn't do it. And you, you know, so let other people be trailblazers, man. Fuck. <laughs> um, but, you know, like people like me, th people automatically think because I got this pimp monk act and Southern thing that I'm a retard, right? They really do. And the first time I ever <laughs> met Landon here, it was in California. <laughs> He looked at me and said, you know I'm not going to fall for this dumb country boy act, right? <laughs> and then I started talking to him like a normal person. <laughs> and, 
Because well, I hide behind that as well. Like you were talking about you hide behind that. I hide behind this, you know, I'm just going to make you laugh thing constantly. Right. And not try to have a real, like a, you know, a real conversation with you sometimes because I'm afraid that you're going to see shit that I don't want you to see. Right. It's so, you know. yeah, it's it's crazy because like uh, in in regular life when you're when you do this, like most people aren't gonna pick up on it or they're like, oh okay, yeah. he's just like this or he's like that. When you're on the internet, you know people are fucking scrutinizing you and they're watching you and they Constantly. they get this yeah and they get this like emotional idea Attachment. of who you are and this emotional connection to you. And so they, they make up their minds and, and, you know, sometimes they're like, well, you're fake. Well, yeah, of course I'm fucking fake. I'm being broadcasted to p people all over the world. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I'm being a little fake right now. I have to. Otherwise, I'm going to be a fucking emotional mess. <laughs> like, why are you looking at me? What are you doing? But that's Jeff. That's that. I mean, a movie actor. You don't say to a movie actor, "Hey, no, you're fake because you weren't. You aren't that character, right? What's What's the difference, right? Yeah, exactly. that's true. It's true. Oh. There's moments where you have to be real, but there's moments where real isn't necessary. Sure. Uh, yeah, and if you if you make it clear with your audience and you have a good relationship with your audience in general, they'll know when you're genuine and when you're you know playing things up for a joke. And you also got well, some of them will. The dumb ones will. Yeah, Jeff, <laughs> Jeff and will are completely get this. It it is us on here. We just turn it up a notch. Yep. yep. It's it's yep. it's us, but it's it's you know uh, it's you got to turn it up and make it more charismatic. Because if we were just our boring, normal fucking selves, you wouldn't want to watch. Mm -hmm. Well, well, what about when when fans when you encounter fans? How do you handle that? I right? hit them in the face. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, somebody hit them in the balls. I do hit my fans in the balls. This is absolutely true. Oh my yeah. god! I have hit several of my people in the nuts. Not just one, but several. Oh yes, yeah. yes. And not not just little love taps. No, I punch him in the balls. What are they gonna do? Whoop my ass? Have you seen me? <laughs> I'm gonna be have to. I'm gonna have to be careful if I ever go to one of these like pimp meetups, man. I mean, dude, if, if they want to fight, I'll bite them. Oh shit! I actually bit a dude. No, you know that story, right? Yeah, dude. I know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah dude. <laughs> I bit a dude's testicle off. But 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 just so 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 you know, if you do a meetup, I, I imagine you're just you're you're you're, you're Extending your online persona to the meetup. Yeah. But what about when you're out, you know, at the laundromat, and someone says, "Hey, I recognize you. You're you're Pimp Monk. You're Jeff. Blah blah blah." Well, and me, you're not I, in character. What? How do you? How do you handle that? Hug him. <laughs> uh, sudden and immediate savage anal sex. Yes. <laughs> now, I, I, and here's the thing: a lot of people don't know. People who do this shit, like try to really do this shit, like me and Jeff. I mean, Jeff's way more popular than me, but to which to is a this, crime. It, it is a crime. <laughs> um, <laughs> subscribe to this person. Give it a like. Yeah. You know. Yeah. One of the, yeah. Subscribe. Uh, but one of the things that I think, I think Jeff, we do know people pretty well. We're very. We. I mean, we we know, we 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 get people. So when I meet someone, I can pretty much catch their personality really quick. Like. This is the type of person I shake his hand. This is the type of person I hug. This is the type of person I instantly make a joke with. Um, to do this shit, you got to know people because if you don't know people, you're not going to draw people in. Right. Yeah. I mean, I, I've gotten I've gotten recommended uh, or recommended uh, recognized a few times, mm -hmm. um, and it, it's always uh, very strange. It's a very very strange experience. Um, but I like I'll, I, I okay good example i was really bored one day and i decided to go to the mall because i had not been to the mall in like four years uh so i went down there to go get uh, a pretzel because i didn't know anywhere else in town to get a fucking pretzel and i just wanted a pretzel so i'm walking through this place random person uh recognizes me and uh you know i'm i'm uh, and it was it was a shift it was kind of like what you're saying pink monk so i'm just walking along just being my old boring dumb like mm -hmm, burr, 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 self and they are you jeff holiday Hey, how you doing? Like immediately, like crank it up. Uh, how you doing? Blah blah blah. No, it's really nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Cool. Blah blah blah. And and I try and get people to tell me a little bit about themselves. Yeah. And then they know me already. They know stuff. I don't know who the fuck they are. So I, I try and get them to tell me some stuff about them. Uh, and I make sure I like I listen so we have that exchange. And then you know, as soon as they're like off on their way. Immediately, it just goes do 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 do, and I'm just dumb Jeff again. Like, 
Yeah, it's so, uh, yeah. like I said, I'm sure Jeff's got it way more than it, but I, there's been moments like I've told this story before. But like when I was in San Jose visiting Landon, I was standing outside of my hotel smoking a cigarette and I was reading my Twitter and somebody tweeted me, said, I think I see you across the street. <laughs> and, I'm like, and I'm like, well, come across the street. And he came over and the dude was so fucking nervous. Wow, His legs yes, were shaking. Yes. The, and I actually had to catch him from falling. Oh, wow. And I, was, and I was like, dude, I'm just some fat dude on the internet, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and he's like, yeah, but you're so fucking funny. And, and honestly, when that happens, it feels good. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it feels really nice because you know, like I said, I mean, I'm not that popular, but I put a lot of work in this shit. So when somebody recognizes it and you know our fans, it's awesome. It's awesome, but you know, you do have to like kind of control yourself into like I don't know what I'm trying to say. You have to fit their personality at the moment. Yeah, yeah, to, yeah. To make them feel comfortable because it's weird. It's weird to come up to a stranger and say I'm a fan of yours. So you have to kind of like I don't know. Be accommodating, I guess. Shit on him, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. That's a bit Take different. a giant steaming shit right on their chest. Um, Take on the Cleveland steamer. Although sometimes I, I would say if you if you you know meet somebody famous or and see somebody famous, yeah. one thing you might kind of you might do is not go all fan on them, right? Yeah, I have never fanboyed on anybody I've met. I don't know. I guess the only the only person, I'll be honest with you, the only person I know I would fanboy out just a little bit on. If Joe ever Rogan. Been, no. No? Okay. Eminem. Oh, that's mm. right. You said Eminem, Eminem. It, I'm, I, I'm a Marshall Mathers fucking freak, dude. I mean, uh, and Aaron Rodgers. If I met Aaron Rodgers, the quarterback of Green Bay Packers, I would suck his cock. Nice. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I, I I usually don't fan fangirl out too hard. Fangirl. Uh, I, I, I kind of have a little bit here and there, but the one that I did the most for a YouTuber oh. um, was actually at this last VidCon. Like I'm, I'm hanging out with all the all the random people and, and kids and YouTubers that I know, and you know, we're having a good time and everything. I didn't even like I met um, uh, fucking what's his name? Jesus Christ, uh, Jax Films. I met Jax, yeah, Jax Films. I didn't know who it was. <laughs> Yeah, I and I like I didn't fangirl at all. Like I, I actually made a joke. I told you about that joke, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I I fucking ran up to the to the outside patio and I saw my wife. And I'm like, "What's this bullshit you've been texting me, huh? You running away with some <laughs> some fucking YouTuber named uh, Jack Films? Was it gonna take a pleasure <laughs> yacht? What the fuck? <laughs> fuck you, wife." And then I looked at Jack Films. And I was like, "Oh, hey, what's up, man? My name's Jeff." Yeah. Great uh, introduction. <laughs> Yeah, it, it, that shit doesn't bother me at all. Like the one person I fangirled out for though was me. ContraPoints. I thought that was me. No, no, dude, I was stoked to fucking meet you. I was stoked. Yeah, ContraPoints, I've, I've never met her. I don't think I met her. Yeah, uh, Natalie showed up like um, I want to say maybe like ten minutes after this, after the big group of us kind of like migrated off. I went off to go do something, and I came back, and uh, I just randomly found her right in the middle of VidCon, and uh, I tried to talk to her. And uh, she knew who I was, so I think that's probably why she was kind of nervous. Like, ooh, it's a shitlord. But uh, <laughs> I love her. I love her fucking video. She's amazing. And so yeah. I like, I was trying to talk to her. And I'm like, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> the first time I met Boogie a couple years ago, I was, it was a little bit, you know, like well, this dude's fucking huge. And, and I'm not talking about just gut. I'm talking about just, yeah, that was a bad joke. Oh, uh, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. But uh, yeah, you know, that was I was a little. I won't say I'm nervous. Just I, you know, I knew I've been watching this dude for years, and uh, one of the coolest things, and I've talked about this before. One of the coolest things, watching TJ Kirk's one got me into videos, right? Watching Amazing Atheist. I when I first, and a lot of people's got that story. Well, when I first met him at the at the meetup that we did, when I kissed Paul on stage and all that shit, it was cool to me. I wasn't nervous or nothing. The first time I took uh, Galen's advice, and the first thing I ever said to TJ, I looked at him and said, "Yeah, you're uglier than me." The very first thing I said to him, he, he busted out laughing. But when we got in the car, we was talking. I said, me and Paul was talking. I said, "Well, I think I make pretty good videos." TJ turned around the front seat. He said, "No, Pimo, you make great videos." And that was like, oh, yeah. That was a that was a big moment for me because yeah. when the when your you know YouTube hero says you make great videos, hey, you know. Yeah, yeah, dude. I, it's it's a it's a wild thing, like. Uh, uh getting getting to hang out with tj in real life he's he's a big fucking sweetheart he yeah. is 
Yeah. You want to punch him sometimes, but he's not. No, he's <laughs> all, he, he, there's a perfect example of someone different than he is on his videos. Mm -hmm. yeah. People I mean, love TJ because you know he sometimes he can just be a prick, but he's TJ's so good at doing it. Fuck in reality, he he'll tell you that though. Yeah, he's I'm sure. Very he you know he's he's very awkward. He, he it takes him a minute to warm up to you. Yeah, it really, he really does. Yeah, and when I, when he does warm up to you, it's cool. I mean, it's all good and shit, but it takes him a minute. He's not like me. I'm an immediate like I'll fucking start talking to you. Yeah, yeah, you're more I'm, outgoing. I'm very. I'm not socially awkward. Yeah. And that's thanks to Landon No, actually. Oh, thank you, Kyle. See, well, because I've told you, I'll tell a little bit of the story. See, here was this. In my 20s, I was a crazy son of a bitch. In my 20s, I would I would fight all the time. I, would, I was crazy. I was, I was socially, not, not socially awkward. I was just socially mean. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't so, and because I, I drank all the time, drugs. I mean, uh, I was bad, yeah, yeah. bad, bad. Do it. So when I straightened up, when I, when I went sober, I was afraid that I was going to go back into that way of mine you know can anybody hear me yeah okay uh i was afraid that i was going to go yep. back into that state so i became a fucking introvert i came up basically i was a hermit dude i didn't go out the fucking house started making the videos started getting a little bit noticed and you know i always give jacqueline Glenn her props so she noticed one of my comedy videos put it put me on her channel boom i went i started getting noticed Landon started became a fan. Me and Landon became friends, and I wanted to go to VidCon and stuff, but I was way nervous and scared. I didn't we gonna do it. And Landon told me one of the best advice I ever got. He said, "You want to make it in the YouTube and comedy and stuff." I said, "Yeah." He said, "Well, in order to get wet, you got to put your toe in the water." I went to VidCon. Yep, and, and there you go. You got to yeah. do it. You got to fucking do it, man. And yeah, yeah I'm still gonna do it this year, honestly. I still have moments where I'm nervous and stuff, but I just overcome it. You can't overcome so uh, you know that kind of shit. You really can if you try hard enough. And it's it benefits you to do so too. You know, like it's a it's a skill that's actually really important to learn. It's true. Yes, uh, and, and find your moments. Like if you're getting nervous, walk the fuck off. Go get you know. Take a minute, breathe, come back, and do it again. Or do what I do. Drink. Hey, yeah, heroin works. <laughs> yeah, it does. I it work. It works for some things. That's for sure. <laughs> uh, my, my my choice of drug was always pills. But you know, I was a pill head. Slightly still am. <laughs> but no, uh, uh, back in the day, I was like, I would take like twelve Percocets at, at a time. Damn. Wow. Yeah, that was that was that bad at one time. And then I, of course, I was a drug dealer. I mean, I had I was the guy that was selling people drugs. And uh, I was an idiot. I was crazy. So I didn't want. I was. It, it's an understandable feeling, you know. You gotta understand that not. You don't want to go back into that life, right? So I. That's kind of what I just exactly. I hunkered down and stayed in the house. I didn't want to go back into that life because it was rough, dude. I mean, I've had guns pulled on me. I've been cut by beer bottles hit up across my head and shit. It's crazy. I didn't want that no more because it hurts. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it does. <laughs> I suspect so. The hardest I've ever been hit was by a whiskey bottle. And really? they and they do not break like they do in the movies. It's not sugar glass. Yeah, it's it's worse if it doesn't break. If it doesn't break, then you get hit with way more of that fucking oh, uh, that force. Ding, and that bottle goes doom. Uh, see, I've had like twenty five concussions. Fuck <laughs> why? Because I've oh dude, I have fought a lot. Dude. Yeah, I've been he's, hit. he's done a lot, dude. I've been hit by bar stools, pool sticks, two by fours with a nail in it. Uh, I had a nail. I had a two by four stuck in the back of my. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I yeah. know, right? Yeah. <laughs> and some uh, my friend had to actually pull a two by four out of my head. Uh, Jeff Pimps had to have his eyeball put back in. Yeah, I had my eye out of my socket and my eye was completely popped out of my it was hanging. Oh man. Fuck. Yeah, and, and and what it was, I walked into the house and everybody was like, ah, they were screaming and shit. And I didn't, I didn't realize it was out of my fucking face. I was like, what the fuck y'all screaming at? Oh my God. And, you know, it was, and then I went to the mirror and I looked. I was like, oh, ah, fuck. <laughs> this ain't right. It never gets easier ever, anytime you tell me that story. Yeah, it was pretty bad. And I tried to put it back in myself. <laughs> could, and, you see, could, you, could you see the floor? That's the crazy thing. It, I really couldn't. I don't know. I guess I maybe, don't know what. Maybe it was in your dominant eye. It, it wasn't my dominant eye. I guess. I guess because once it's popped out, your eye starts. Ta this eye starts taking over. <laughs> I don't know. I, maybe I could see the floor. I think I was in shock. 
Yeah, yeah, you, maybe. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, wow. Yeah, but 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 to my credit, I actually won that fight. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't sound like it, but no. I did. Fuck. But yeah, I've been in some bad fights. <sighs> Yeah, I've seen some bad stuff. I um, need to take a breather after hearing that story. Yeah, yeah. I had to slice my arm with a beer bottle, broken beer bottle. Uh, huh. yeah, he was trying to get in my face, but I put my arm up. You know, I was like, well, I'd rather get my well, arm. yeah, that's better. I'd, I'd rather get my arm sliced than my fucking face. So yeah, yeah. I got stabbed by a kitchen knife. Uh, yeah, that was pretty gnarly. That was that was a crazy ass thirteen year old chick though. I was fourteen. And I was just pissing her off and teasing her and shit, and she oh, went psycho. Okay. And, Dude, know. the uh. second hardest I've ever been hurt was the when I was laying, I was on the ground and a dude stomped me with his cowboy boot. The heel of it. Oh, ah! oh I'm was, gonna need more coffee. Hang on. That was for yeah. the <laughs> Anyway, yeah. Anyway. I mean, anyways, my dick's still small. <laughs> Well, thanks, thanks for the update, Pin Monk. I, I don't think I'm bleeding anymore. It's covered. So I don't yeah, see, I don't see blood coming through it, but I, I, I don't know. Leave it on for a little while longer. Dude, that was kind of scary because I looked down and just blood was every fucking. Way. Yeah, that's that's not good. That's not good, man. Yeah, you're leaking. I'm leaking. I think you know just. Boy, my legs are fucked. I hope they don't get back like they were. They were starting to heal too. That's the I crazy know. Thing. Landon did it. Oh, are you are, are you still keeping them elevated? Yeah, I mean they're up right now. Okay, that's good. That's good. So I, I, have, I, I have this stool thing underneath the desk. I yeah, I, yeah. I, I keep. I even I have one of those because I used to have back issues. Well, actually, it's a tape. Anyway, I was going to read this article earlier, and everything got fucked up. There's a raw beef recall expands to more than 12 million pounds of ground beef being recalled. According to the USDA press release, 246 people have been sickened by JBS Tolleson beef since October. Damn. A lot of hamburger meat being recalled. Yeah. I, first, romaine lettuce. Well, first they thought it was Thanksgiving turkeys. Then they thought it was romaine lettuce. And now they think it's now, now ground beef's the issue. What's going on with food? So you don't want to eat a burger with romaine lettuce. You're fucked. Yeah. Oh, yeah. People actually <laughs> yeah. do that, too. Well, at least it could be worse. You know, in, in Australia, there was this thing about strawberries, I think it was, that somebody was, was messing with. I don't know if they ever caught that person, but... but yeah, for a while, strawberries were. Yeah, I remember were a that. Thing. That's fucked too. Uh, oh my god, today is a weird day. Walmart is getting robot janitors. Walmart. Robot janitors. Oh yeah. man, another job lost. Oh boy. The robots, which look like a cross between a miniature Zamboni and a motorized wheelchair, already scrub floors at airports in Seattle, San Diego, Boston, and Miami. There's going to be dumb fucking rednecks like children that are going to try and ride them around and shit. Uh, they look like they're right here. I'll show you what they look like. That's them right there. Yeah, people are going to try and ride that shit. Like a mini oh. Zamboni machine? What the hell is that? It's a, it's a janitor. It's a robot janitor. Walmart's getting robot janitors. <laughs> yeah, people are going to try to ride it. People are going to try and fuck it. It looks, it's like, it, it looks like it's you know, got a seat and, and everything, so I guess. Yeah. Oh, here's a little vid vidgy of it. Let me see. A little vidgy. The, Z the Zamboner. The Zamboner. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, according to Red Eye, they caught the uh, strawberry person. So, oh, okay. cool. The so Justice. here it is. In, here it is in action. They got all oh, they. They got a little yellow stripe across it to keep people from getting on it. Like that's gonna yeah. work. Anyways, imagine this: Walmart, three a.m. at night, drunk hillbillies. Yeah, yeah. That, 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 that's all. That's all you need to hear, right? I mean, robot. Yeah. Robot wars. And yeah, it's, that, that thing's that thing's getting fucked. Yes. <laughs> yeah, well, perhaps literally. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes, it's getting fucked, dude. I have found my favorite person on the internet. Her name is K Bear. K. And yeah, she's a black girl, and everybody knows I like my black people. Oh, yeah. the cosplayer. Yes. Oh, 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 oh dude, look wow. at her right here. Oh uh, my god. She is 
gorgeous. Yes. Oh, beyond fuck. Oh, dude, I I have fapped her at least twelve thousand times already. Oh, that, whoa, that's a lot, man. That's crazy. I'm gonna show you what she looks like without the makeup. But look, I, I think I can show this. I can show this. This is bad. I want you to look at this shit. My God. Oh shit! It's Bowsette. Yes. Yeah. Fuck. My that's... God in heaven, dude. Yeah, that's Ooh. crazy. Who wouldn't want to rape her? But uh, <laughs> hang on. What? Did I say something bad? <laughs> yeah, allegedly. But, yeah, Pimp Monk, you said something objectionable, in my opinion. I meant, you know, love her with stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I see what you mean. No, nah, she's absolutely... Uh, could, yeah, uh, yeah. could you tell me her IQ? As long as the IQ is low enough, uh, I think I can co-sign uh, Otherwise, if she is too high IQ, I'm not interested. Um, I, I think that's already don't... something... About yeah, I mean, she could be Jewish, too. Yeah, I think there's already something about that woman that would disinterest JF. I won't say it, but I think it's pretty obvious. Uh, you know, he's 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 actually, if I'm not mistaken, he's gone on record saying that he he does find uh, women women of of, of I, I know other he said races that about attractive. Asian. I know he's I think, yeah. said that about Asian women, but I don't think he's ever said that about a, a black woman. Before. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't I, know. Me, I love... Love black women. Oh, that's my oh. Me too. Me too. I agree. I agree. Well, you're black. Well, yeah, but only a, a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> uh, I don't know. You look, you look purple to me. I mean, it's, oh, man. <laughs> it's no <laughs> fact. You know, Pimmox loves black women. I mean, I've I've had girlfriends that are black and, you know, relationships with black chicks. They're they're really good in bed. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Really? I'm sorry. I'm not, they're passionate. Dude, you get a nice looking little black chick in the bedroom. She gonna tear that dick up. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, so okay. Uh, I I was raised uh, for a long, long time. I was raised over on like coastal Oregon. Uh, there ain't no black people there. You know, like no. uh, the, the closest we get is we get some some Mexicans maybe. Uh, and so when I moved to Panama, Central America, it was kind of a culture shock because like now I'm a minority. You know, why there, yeah. there's not that many white people down there. And uh, I was a little nervous at first. And then I went to my first school dance while I was there. It was in middle school right before I graduated to go to high school. And I was really nervous. And this uh, this really, really sweet girl comes up and she's black. And she's like, you got to dance. It's the last dance for middle school. And I'm like, uh, I don't really know how. And she's like, no, no, no. I'm going to show you, sweetie. It's all good. Takes me up on the floor. And she drags her friend with her, also black, and these two beautiful black chicks danced with me for mm. hours, hours oh, and hours. And immediately I was hooked and thus began an obsession with black women. Yeah. So when I moved to New Orleans, oh, I had, I had beautiful black women. <laughs> I've never cheated on anyone in my life. Never cheated. Always been faithful. But I, I tell you what, when I moved to New Orleans, that shit put me to the fucking test because... I was like in a smorgasbord of my fucking favorite aesthetic. Like, oh my god, so <laughs> many gorgeous black women everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. And I cooked breakfast too. And I tell yeah. you what, in New Orleans, if you know how to cook a mean fucking breakfast, that's a perfect aphrodisiac for women. Right. Holy well, shit! How I got hooked on black, I was, uh, you know, going in high school, and this black girl moved from Illinois down to Mississippi. But here's the thing: I, I was the white dude who hung out with all the black guys, right? I was, I was the token white dude. Yeah, and she was like a white girl, but black skin. She was in the, I was in the rap. She was in the metal. She introduced me to Slayer, by the way. Nice. Yeah, and you know we got together, we hooked up, and, and she looked like Lisa Turtle from Saved by the Bell. Oh, she's fucking hot, and I ate that pussy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All I gotta say. <laughs> okay. But Dan, here's what else can thing. you say? Thank God for slavery, because Mississippi has a lot of black folks. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. wait. What, what? Can what? you say what you said just one more time? Say that. Yeah. Say I'm that. I'm thankful again. for. I'm thankful for slavery. Okay. Okay. Because uh, Mississippi has a lot of black folks in it, and I get to fuck them. <laughs> okay. I, 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 I just misheard what Did you I said. Say it better the second time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah now that you've like made it clear, I, I'm fine. I'll let you have to say. Yeah. No. I'll let you <laughs> But uh, only on the morning would folks donate to Pimp Mom. Yeah. <laughs> Links below. Yeah, you know, like I said, something bad. No, no, no. I, you, oh. you didn't say anything wrong. You didn't say anything objectionable. You know. 
Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying, if it wasn't for slavery, Mississippi wouldn't have a lot of black folks in it. Yeah, yeah. So, I, I mean, it's true that if the, there so was slavery. So I'm grateful slavery, that slavery but... happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, you're correct. You're correct. Yeah. There's no flaws in your logic at all. <laughs> I'm trying to break jail. Here's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> uh, no but, comment. Yeah, yeah, no comment. Seriously, no Are comment you saying that. that Mississippi's an ethno state? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I, I'm gonna take I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna take Jeff's lack of comment as agreement. Like you know, what he's like, what else can you add? You know, yeah, it's a beautiful statement. You know, I'm gonna get a T-shirt. Thank God for slavery. Yeah, you know. I, I don't know it's so funny, Jeff. I, 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 we're just having an intellectual conversation here for once on the morning. Oh, G-Man would agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should get G-Man on here. And... We should get G-Man on. Now that's the biggest shoe. Landon, all, right? Do you would you wear that T-shirt? I <laughs> don't think I would voluntarily wear it. I love black people, so I'm grateful for slavery because I get to meet them. <laughs> but but there are other ways to meet black people. But not that many. I mean, there was a bunch. Go to people. Africa. There are they did, actually they <laughs> lots of and a wide variety too. Yeah, yeah, wide variety. But uh, no, we also got good food because of black people. So there again, thankful. And, and, and if you want to see southern cooking, go to yeah. Africa. Now, you'll, everybody, if you'll you see. Yeah, if you if you're stupid and don't realize I was joking, fuck you. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, seriously. You know. But uh, <laughs> see down here, soul food is just food. Right. You know, yeah. it's white people food. It's black people. We just eat like when people talk about only black people eat. No, nah, motherfucker, I tell some goddamn mac and cheese too. Mm. You know, I, now I don't eat collard greens like everybody else does because I don't like collard greens. But there's a lot of shit I eat, like the way they cook shrimp. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Oh, dude, red beans oh, and rice. Man. Red beans and rice with a little fucking like uh, some uh, chorizo in it or something. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, yeah. Some chorizo, Holy maybe shit. like a big old fucking hunk of smoked <laughs> sausage or some shit. Yeah. Like. They don't. They don't make. Like, okay, we get great southern food in Oregon because there's a lot of people who transplant from the south up here, open up restaurants. Great food. Great food. Not one of the motherfuckers will actually make traditional red beans and rice. Nobody does. That's so stupid. Nobody fucking does. It's always shit. Like the the beans are too hard. They don't melt. They know nothing. These people don't soak their beans overnight. There they don't go. slow cook it. You know they don't they don't make a traditional style. So it's shit. Yep. And I bet they don't put the rice in when the beans are out dente either. No, so, they don't. Yep, so that's where you go fucking stupid. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. I, can, I can cook some beans and rice now. I cook a lot of things southern style, but my, I was raised by a woman that just, oh, my God. It's like she, uh, she does something a lot of people have never heard of. She cooks, she takes ribs, right, and cooks them in sauerkraut. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, dude! Oh my yeah. god! I've never heard of that before, but oh, I it's, it's a southern, it's a southern dish, man. It's a southern dish, and dude, oh my god, the ribs, the meat will just fall off the fuck. Oh bone. man! And you and you Shit. wrap it in sauerkraut and just eat. Oh my god, that's some good Shit. ass. You can even throw you some hot sauce on it if you want to. Cause I like doing that. But yeah, yeah, I'd do that. I love yeah. good food. Good southern. I, of course, I love. I'm fucking fat. <laughs> But uh, I I I've lost a few pounds, but I'm gaining it back. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, you lost a few pounds this morning. You just want to have a net loss. Yeah, I right, lost like right, twelve Tim. pounds of blood just a minute ago. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I was feeling a little weak there, but I think my strength is coming back. It was All a right. lot of blood. It was way more blood than I thought. It was like I'm glad ocean. you're. Yeah, I'm glad you're literally, you know, patched up. I'm glad I have AIDS. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, okay. You might want to disinfect Assistance, everything in your house. Right? See, all right, all right. Uh, and red, red eye is one of your aids. Yeah, right. Your aids. <laughs> yeah. You, you got, you gotta, you gotta have, uh, you gotta have the shirt. Uh, what was, what was your shirt gonna say? Thank God for slavery, and I'm right. glad I have aids. And then you gotta have the hat that says, "I'm glad I have aids." Yeah. There you go. <laughs> you want to share or something like that? What? <laughs> <laughs> AIDS wow. cock for love. Mm. I've mm. done that for barbecue. Yeah, barbecue. You could do that for barbecue. Hell yeah, man. Throw you some barbecue ribs. I don't know. Barbecue ribs with sauerkraut don't sound too hot. 
I don't. I don't. The barbecuing the sauerkraut might be tricky because I don't know about that. You want to cook them a long time. Tim's like skeptical cook. about that. I can tell. You want to yeah. slow cook the ribs, like he was talking about slow cooking the beans. You want to slow cook the ribs. You don't want to cook them fast because you want that meat to tear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You want to just take a fork and just scrape the meat off. If you can do that with a fucking rib, you've cooked the rib right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't want to cook ribs. I've been wanting to, to toss some some fucking one of those like internet uh, little mini videos, like the little yummy recipe videos and shit. And I want to do it. <clears throat> you take a hot dog, slice it in half, lay in a big old thick wedge of uh, cheddar cheese, stick the thing in the bun, and then wrap oh. the bun in bacon. Oh, and then cook that shit like I I I, I want I want that. Yeah, I like, want that in my belly right now. Like, yeah, right now. That's that would that would be some fucking hangover food, man. Hell yeah, man. Oh, or a Bloody Mary. I'd take a Bloody Mary right now too. Fuck. Yeah. <sighs> Although, uh, thing about Bloody Marys, if you're out someplace, is ask the ask the bar tender if they're making Bloody Marys because Bloody Marys. For, for like a bar are are a process right yeah and, and if it's if it's near closing time if they're busy don't bug them about a bloody mary no i had a girl I mean, I... Mary that was bleeding one time <laughs> <laughs> uh, sometimes they'll have like a pre-mix and whatnot but you're not going to get like the full experience yeah you know? the full experience you're talking about food i've been doing like food i'm about to start doing food stuff but it's fucking gross Weird shit, and I've got an Amazon wish list. If anybody wants to see me eat any of this shit, I'm talking about like ridiculously strange food. Let me go over to this list. I'll, I'll show you some of this shit. It's um, I will share the link in a Sweet. minute. But here we go. Uh, let's share the. So like right here, we've got. Uh, I don't know. This is like some weird soda, carrot cake, birthday cake, soda. But we got like hot stuff too, like monsoon spice. Carolina Reapers Drive. But here you got uh, Lester. Buffalo wing soda. Buffalo wing soda. Ranch dressing soda. Oh, uh, wow. Here we got seasoned grasshoppers. Ugh. Smoke rattlesnake in a can. What? Rock, Rocky Mountain oyster beef test. <laughs> no. Jerky. Real, and a real, 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 real Rocky Mountain oysters. The toe of Satan lollipop. Um, Egghead's had had that before. The Chinese century egg. Oh, no, Pimmon. No, 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 no. You don't know what you're talking about. Dehydrated up. zebra tarantula. tarantula. Yeah, they really are. It's really a dehydrated. Yeah. Yes, tarantulas. Uh, this right here is you know, like game beef, like game again. You got duck jerky, earthworms, Tibetan yak jerky, <laughs> <laughs> Tibetan yak jerky. Wow. Yes. yes. Uh, jelly belly draft beer canteen. I don't know. Tim Monk, you can't. Are you serious? You're gonna yeah. try this shit? Bacon mints. <laughs> Those are probably not vegetarian. Bacon no. soda, peanut butter and jelly soda. Um, pumpkin pie. So that would probably not be bad. Pumpkin yeah, that pie. probably that sounds okay. Actually. A lot of this landing because Landon added a lot of this shit to the list. By the way, <laughs> the he's trying to kill me. He's Landon trying to kill me dead. Landon, Landon this is crazy. We got you. Have you ever had haggis? Haggis? No, I have not. Uh, it's a Scottish thing. Here's yeah. reindeer meat, canned reindeer meat. Moonshine oh. brittle made with Tennessee moonshine. That might be good, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. More rattlesnake. Uh, punch in the nuts six pack. I don't <laughs> know what that is. I like how so many of these have like really bad star ratings and shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, like, this is got, garbage. Don't eat this. <laughs> you got barbecue bamboo. Worms. Yeah. Uh, season queen weaver ants. God damn, Landon, you did this. <laughs> uh, salted male rhino beetles. God. Yeah, damn. male, not I, female. I, they separate the females. I didn't know Landon was capable of something so evil as this. Edible <laughs> black you, forest. Sex of beetles. Scorpions, right? And, and I, I don't, I, I presume that, that, that most of the venom has been taken out. Well, it's said edible. Most? I hope so, because if I eat this shit, <laughs> die, I'm fucked. <laughs> Chocolate covered super worms. What is a super worm? They're, they're, it's sort of like, um, you might do night, night crawlers, that sort of thing. Bootios. I, that's just. Now, so I, I think K3 would like that cereal. Yeah. Edible insects, uh, edible insects, bag of meat. Okay. 
Oh uh, my god! A lot of insects stuff here: sour cream and onion, bacon and cheese, salt and vinegar, crickets. Oh, I, I, mm. can't, I can't believe this. Now I put this on here because I don't know what it is, but it's called kitty piddle soda. Oh <laughs> no! <laughs> this is totally gross kitty piddle soda. Soda. No thanks. Maple mm. syrup soda. You got oh. spider soda. That could be good. And here you got a bunch of hot sauce. You got the same hot sauce that Billy and uh, Ben tried the other night. What the fucking fuck? 357, you got that pain 100%. And I think there's one on here that's actually got more uh, Scovels than that 357. I can't a remember. million Scoville units. But there's a whole bunch of nasty. Here you got, you got Camel Jerky, by the way. On the- mm. Camel Jerky. So, yeah, if you want to buy any of that shit for old Pimp Monk to eat. And you yeah, if you want to torture Pimp Monk. At least, uh, at least there's no Haribo uh, gummy berries in there, cause yeah, that yeah. Mm, don't do that. Don't well, yourself. I'll do it. Uh, I I would not like I you know eating a tarantula, eating some scorpions. Like I get that, but like those Haribo fucking gummy berries, man. That like that's 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 actual poison. You don't want to eat that. By far the most disgusting thing I saw on that list, Ben Monk, had to be that century egg. Just the thought of it. Yeah, makes me it, it is. It is a. I think although although I should say that the Rocky Mountain oysters are also not. Yeah, I, yeah. Haggis. Have you not? If you're not uh, in tune with haggis, I know what haggis well, is too. That, that, my dad would eat Rocky Martin oysters like they're fucking candy. Yeah, what? honestly, this? Ha- that's haggis in a can too, Landon. So maybe that is worse than the century egg somehow. <laughs> What's a century egg? Oh, um, look it up, J- Jeff. Just look up the Wikipedia article. It'll do okay. more it's justice. A black, than I nasty looking egg. I know that. It's, 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 a, no. it's an ultra. Pickle We're gonna learn something. Sort of, kind of egg. No, it, it has a and, very specific process. Yeah, uh, yeah. You'll, you'll. It is. They ain't the one of the Chinese kid piss eggs. Is it? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh fuck that! I'll eat it though. Fuck it! I'll eat Chinese kids piss. What? Okay. Are you kidding me, Fit Monk? What? I, oh my Dude, god! I, I would fuck a. Uh, I'd fuck Brett King for views. Oh shit! That's <laughs> crazy. Ugh, this looks fucking disgusting. Yeah, what the yes. shit? It's been yeah. aged. It's been aged for no, you know. It's called a century egg, but it's not actually been aged and for not, a century. Not a century, not but it's. But some of them also they they'll, they'll bury them in the ground for a yeah. while too, or bury them in mud. Yep. Yeah. So how do you feel about that, Ben Monk? I don't like it, but I got a, a tip here from. Uh, uh, wake up, Dad says, "Don't rape sheep unless you want to." Then go for, I guess. <laughs> Thank you, they, when up. you when you're handling this when you're I'm I'm reading this shit and like traditionally when yeah. you when you make traditional you have to wear gloves while preparing it because the yes. concoction that you roll the thing in can give your skin chemical burns. Yes. What, what, yes. Landon, yes. what did you put down there? So put it in your belly, right? Put it in your belly. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Landon, what? What? you I'm didn't a- you didn't say you were gonna eat this stuff. I'm going to. That's the goddamn problem, Landon. Oh my god. Pimp Monk's gonna eat a century egg. I will. Now, you will? I, well, wait, Pimp Monk. Well, well, we, may, we may make a, a big tip fest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. Make Pimp Monk eat the century egg. Yeah. For like $580, I'll eat the egg. You'll eat the f- whole thing? I will stick the whole thing in my mouth at the same at the No! Minute. Pimp Monk, no! I mean, that probably is the best way to do it because you don't want to have to take no. multiple bites, but. So, so low energy videos. The, the Italian cheese may, that has mag, live maggots in it is actually from Corsica. Yeah, I ain't eating no maggot cheese. But you actually, maggots can be healthy for you. <coughs> yeah, that's true. And 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 so do kind of termites too. Yeah. A lot of people don't realize that, but maggots actually have a certain protein in it. It's good. Yeah. So yeah. We had a, in Botswana, we had about a two day uh, termite swarm, and you know it you. They were just everywhere, right? And and you just couldn't help but consume them. Yeah. I mean, yeah, your food, right? And and it, it, the, the the termites like like to go into things and go down into holes. So you like go that. to the toilet, mm-hmm. and the toilet is completely full of termites to the brim. Oh. Because they're trying to get down into the hole. Because the termites, when they swarm, they're trying to find a hole to burrow down in and make their own little termite nest. I'm trying to find a hole to burrow down in. Yeah. That was sexual. 
Oh shit! Uh, there, actually, you're you're right, uh, Lloyd. There's also a sardine as well, but Corsica has has it as well. Sardines, sardines, sardines. Somebody bought that damn um, harmonica for me the other day. I sit on my list. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Well, that's really cool. Oh yeah. yeah. Sweet. I'm gonna learn how to play harmonica. Uh, one learn year, in one year, I want to be the greatest harmonica player in history. Oh wow. It's gonna happen, yeah. people. Yep, you heard it here first, folks. <clears throat> so I I stopped my parents landing from buying that ticket. They're mad at me. Because I, I didn't want them to spend that much money on me. Fuck that. And uh, they was they was gonna buy me my VidCon ticket for next for next year coming because they're already on sale. But I'll I'll do it. I'm gonna do it. You know. I don't think I'm gonna buy a ticket. Like uh, I thought about not buying a ticket and just going. <clears throat> yeah, because like um, I don't know. I, I maybe I will. I, I I wasn't going to last year, but uh, memory found them on sale for like fifty percent off or some yeah. shit, yeah. and uh, and got us some. But I still I I still didn't do anything in the con. I didn't either. I didn't do I, shit. I just I'm, hung out and got yeah. drunk. If I buy one, I'm thinking of actually buy instead of buying a fucking uh, credit ticket, just buy a community ticket. Where I can yeah. Get, where I can get to the fountain. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, because you have to have a ticket to get into that area, and the fountains where we all hung out. Yeah, they changed it because, like, uh, in in twenty seventeen, uh, you could get to the fountain without a without a badge, mm -hmm. and I think they realized that a lot of people were just going there and like meeting up and hanging out. So now oh, they like block the whole fucking thing off. It's really annoying. Elitism. Back mm -hmm. again. So, and they closed off the fucking motel bar that we would always hang out in so that only like industry people or some shit could get in there or uh, it, it was just fucking annoying see, they, so, did that, they did that one year when I went and I mean the first year I went they didn't do that the second year they did that and then I heard they didn't do it the year you went to, uh, and, then, and now they did it again so I don't know I went two years straight and then I missed a year everybody showed up and then I went back like, this year so yeah but I'm I'm definitely gonna go. I'll be down there for for VidCon for sure. I had way too much fun, and I'll be going to Kilroy this year again as well. I can't wait for all the controversy around that. Happening. Good old Kilroy, man. Unfortunately, Bet Monk, I'm not gonna be at, at VidCon. I'm gonna be at uh, in at Pitcairn Island. Yeah, that's yeah, right. You're going to fucking island and get raped by Hang out people. with the uh, descendants of the mutineers. They're going to rape you, Landon. <laughs> You're the mutineers. I got I got to take an entire country. Out for dinner. There you that's go. Awesome. Everyone is from the country. Uh, that's, that's crazy, cool. man. That is so crazy. Man. Dude, I can. Right? It's, it, and yeah. I, I'm not going to go to the Vatican because I don't. I don't hang with those dudes. But there's a couple trips to plan on making <laughs> next year. But uh, January, I may be going to Seattle. So. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh, oh, around the, in January. Well, that yeah. Dick Masterson hangout with the DP. Oh yeah, I'm gonna skip that one. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Ben said if I come, they'll have put it on the thing. Dick Mash and DP and Pimo. So, oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. put me yeah. on stage, do some shit. So, I mean, it's I don't know. I, I may go. I'm not sure yet. And then I don't know what else. The penis people. Oh, in February, I'm trying to go. We're trying to do a thing in Memphis with a few people. Pimp gathering in Memphis. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, somebody's asking, is Kilroy in Arizona? Yeah, it's in uh, Phoenix every year. Kilroy, <laughs> dude, it was fun. Yeah. It's a nobody, lot of fun. Nobody ever asked me to go to these things and speak. I didn't. They don't like hear them hear me speak. I guess I'm not a good speaker. <laughs> I, I, I think you. I think you'd be fine at Kilroy. I mean, like. <laughs> it's very uh it, it, i mean like the panels were great they were fine um but it's not, it was hard. It's not hard to speak in front of three people jeff Pim yeah Monk. no i know <laughs> there wasn't that many people was there pin monkey uh, you just gotta start putting on a suit and pretending like you're important like armored skeptic and then you'll start getting invites to these types true of true true god damn his girlfriend's ass i know right <laughs> <laughs> no comment no i finally started I finally started like breaking down the the hostility between us, and we're pretty cool now. Oh so. shit! Oh okay. my saying it. Oh my saying it. Nope. Shoot on heads, butt is perfect. <laughs> no, 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 no. I would oh, bury shit. my I would bury my face in that thing until I could not breathe anymore. Oh, oh shit! Boy. What a I way to go! I would die in the crack of her ass. 
Okay, I'm done. He knows I'm kidding. If he don't, well, I'll kick my ass. Yeah, come do it. <laughs> On pay-per-view. Fight me, bro. Yep. <laughs> no, I'm just, he knows I'm kidding. Yeah, shit. Yeah. I mean, I really wouldn't fuck her. Oh, uh, shit. Oh, shit. I wouldn't. I, 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 she wouldn't I, give me pussy shit. I'm fat and ugly. She's short and cute. But I do know Cosby's trick. Jello pudding, it works. Jello pudding. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, God, I'm an idiot. Well, I am truly, because I say things I shouldn't say. Oh, you're fine. Yeah. Oh, you just call me fine. He farted with me. Oh, shit. Jeff farted with me live. Mm. Live on the morning wood. Crab said, Whoa, easy pimp monk. Really? <laughs> that makes me want to go worse. You know that, right? Oh, yeah. This is the time that pimp monk went too far with a joke, right? God damn. I've talked about all kinds worse. Of shit. Yeah. Dude, I've talked about that dude fucking me in the butt when I was 10. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. He was. <laughs> It was not. It was. It wasn't a great experience. Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I can imagine. I can imagine. You know, right? <laughs> he seemed to enjoy himself. Though. Well, uh, at least somebody got something out of it. You know. Yeah, he, I got something out of it. A sore ass and tears. Uh, <laughs> Jeff's just like, uh, uh, uh. He left oh. a, a lasting memory with me. I tell you. Oh, and when, and when I think pulled, you broke Jeff Holiday. Congratulations! And when he, and when he pulled out the cane, that was fun. Oh, oh no. no! Yeah, dude, that's how you deal with it, man. You just yeah, you just yeah, you just you know yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm dealing with it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking shit! <laughs> oh man! Yeah. Uh, people in the chat, uh, support Pimp Monk. Get, send him your donations. We've got, we've actually got a pretty good turnout today, it seems. So like the video too, and share yeah, it. And press do that all like that, button. Do all that good crap for and, Pimp Monk and support me. I don't know. Uh, Hip thrust that motherfucking like button. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Do this. Go hard. Yeah. Go hard. Yeah. Go Pimp hard. Yeah. Funniest thing, people think I'm gonna be serious on this show. I'm like, dude, it's named after an erection. Yeah. I would love to see Leon Lush get on the morning wood and you two hang out. That'd be yeah. fucking rad, dude. I'll take anybody on this fucking show, dude. Well, not anybody, but most anybody. Hit Monk won't just have won't have just anyone on his wood, you know. Yeah, who is Leon Lush? You don't know who Leon Lush? Oh, he's great, man. He's I uh, probably do know him. I just have a horrible memory. He, he's from the commentary community. He's just a really, really sweet yeah. guy. Uh, I got to meet him at uh, VidCon 2017, and I didn't even realize like who he was. And then I saw his videos afterward. I'm like, oh, fuck. I should have talked to that dude. He's great. Holy shit. Yeah, you should yeah. check your stream labs. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, man. You're such a nice person, Len. Check in stream labs and see. I don't see anything. Oh shit, what a twist. <laughs> it's a twist. <laughs> uh, I checked the PayPal though. Nothing. I don't got nothing. That's weird. What happened, Landon? What happened to Pimp Monk? Well, someone just mentioned, but it may take a while for someone mentioned something in the, in the stream. It may take a while. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, done in a dollar through stream labs. I don't see it, bud, but thank you anyway. Crap. Yeah, it'll show up hopefully eventually. Hell yeah. yeah. Every dollar counts. Dollar, dollar bill, y'all. Oh, yeah. my God. We ain't got much longer for the show, so I'll go ahead and take Q&A. If you got questions for Jeff, Landon, or Animancer, like you're going to ask Animancer. Oh, anything. shit, yeah. You know, oh. like, fuck about this dude. <laughs> <laughs> or me. You can ask me questions. I'll answer questions, too. Please ask. So here we I, go. I'm pretty stoked to uh, later today. Uh, I'm going to be recording a uh, a movie podcast, a low res Wonder Bread. We're going to be talking about the movie Annihilation. Like oh. that. That is my favorite movie of 2018. That movie was fucking badass. Cool. Yeah. I, don't think I, I hadn't seen it. 
I like it. Did, it didn't even end up in the theaters because like the the studio was like, we need to make this a little bit less cerebral and intelligent. Uh, and then the producer was like, fuck you. No, we're not doing anything. This is brilliant. Fuck off. And they're like, well, then we're just going to release it to Netflix. And they're like, OK. And it was like one of the best movies I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. It was incredible. Yeah. It's almost like, you know, when there's a vision for a movie and it's allowed to actually stay that way, it ends mm -hmm. up being a good film sometimes. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I'm a big I'm a big uh, Alex Garland fan. He's the same dude who made uh, Ex Machina. Yeah. Uh, he fucking he wrote, dude, like this guy, you might not have even realized like Alex Garland is so fucking amazing. Um, this fucking dude. He's only directed a couple of movies, but what he's written, uh, he wrote 28 Days Later. Uh, he wrote the Dread movie. He wrote uh, Sunshine and The Beach, that Leonardo DiCaprio movie, The Beach. Mm. Yeah, that was dude's a horrible fucking movie, brilliant. Though. That was a horrible movie, though. What, The Beach? Yeah. <laughs> dude, when he's tripping out in the fucking woods and like loses his fucking mind, that was great. That that was not a good movie, Jeff. <laughs> ah, I loved it. I loved Come it. on, Jeff Afar. No, it was great, dude. I loved it. <clears throat> it was a pile of shit, bro. Come on. <laughs> it was you. God damn it, Jeff! I don't like you anymore for liking that movie. It's a great movie. Wait, right. Is it because it's Leonardo DiCaprio you don't like? No, it? I like Leonardo. I mean, Leo and fucking Wolf of Wall Street was amazing. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and Django, his fucking character in Django, I loved Candy Man. That was fucking <laughs> awesome. <laughs> And dude cut his fucking hand and bled and kept going. He he really did cut his hand. You know, we broke mm -hmm. that. It was pretty awesome. But I, I like that movie a lot. I like any movie he, that uses the N word like a thousand, fifteen thousand times. Because so you know, we we got a question that said asking about the nature of economics. Is it? I guess it's transitioning from manufacturing to service to entertainment. Is is entertainment? I guess the logical next step when you transition out of a manufacturing economy through a service economy to an entertainment economy is that that's not a question for Pam. <laughs> <laughs> that's a question is for is, 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 is entertainment like the next extension of of an economy uh, um, after service it's already a part of it right i mean i mean if you think you think of entertainment as a service yeah but you know the typical service economy is more is different than the manufacturing, right? So I don't so like this guy for asking such a smart question. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking stupid. Asking How dare you? Intelligent. Stop making me use my brain. Someone, me. Yeah, yeah, someone in the chat said, "Has Animancer seen the Piranha Pepe plant?" I don't know what the fuck that is. Hypothesis. So it's a Piranha Pepe plant. I I know what a Piranha plant is. I know what Pepe is, but I don't know what a Piranha Pepe plant is. I don't either. <laughs> But well, I don't know, Jeff. Do you have an answer for the entertainment question? Uh, <coughs> let me look at it. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Uh, bam, 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 bam. Where was it? Is the nature? Uh, is this the nature of economies? Manufacturing, service, entertainment. Um, I'd suppose so. But I mean, like the the thing is, is I, I I'd see the the nature of. Uh, economy is to be more of like a circular thing, you know. Uh, it goes into like supply and demand, and inside of all these types of things, you have various different tweaks. But uh, yeah, I mean, like the 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 compulsion to have more entertainment is going to lead to more innovation, which means to more manufacturing, and then <clears throat> more services. Then the way you you deliver those services and the platforms that services can come on uh, also start to innovate, and it just all the time. Over and over. Yeah. I mean, you see with YouTubers, like what happens to the YouTubers yeah. and shit when uh, when their their shit runs stale and there's just not a lot going on and yeah. you know they're not getting as many views. They have to respond to it in one way or the other. Otherwise, they just kind of trudge along. It's like what happened with Onision. Are Nobody YouTube fucking. Sticks his, are you when YouTube sticks his big giant dick up your ass, which is all, all the yeah. time for some people, like Pimmonk. <laughs> yeah. So what what he's saying is that you know, he's asking it's entertainment. He says the end game is what he's asking. Are you guys oh. doing right now at least you know, at, at at the last stage of any economy? 
Oh. So, um, I'm going to be doing this for the rest of my fucking life. Oh. I mean, he, I, it's, I, it's definitely not the end game for me. Um, but uh, it, it's... I, I guess... I think I understand what he's talking about. Um, I kind of don't. This is this is just a this is this is just a platform for me, man. I'm I'm gonna move into mainstream. Yeah, me too. I'm, I'm not sure that you know, it, because it's, it's question almost implying like you go from hunter gatherer to agrarian to manufacturing to service mm-hmm. is. I'm not sure that entertainment is is a stage. I think entertainment is has been a function mm-hmm. of a more advanced society. When we oh. move from the farms to the cities. Um, people had the the luxury of becoming purely entertainers. How dare you be smart, Ryan? Right, right, right. No, that's that's actually that's a good actually, way to look at it. Yeah, too. it is a good way. To, and by the way, I'm I mean, when I said I'm going to be doing this for the rest of my life, I mean trying to be an entertainer. Is what I meant. Yeah, uh, not YouTube. Exactly. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Yeah, YouTube's going to terminate his. Uh, but I'm channel. old as fuck, dude. I mean, so <laughs> I mean, I ain't got long to go. I'm 41 fucking years old. Congratulations. Yeah. But I think I'm, I mean, look, I'm a. Here's the deal. I I know that I'm talented when it comes to comedy. I know how to make people laugh. But for some reason, YouTube is fucking me over. So, and people don't like me because <laughs> YouTube yeah. hates fun. They hate fun. They hate originality. They hate anyone that doesn't you know try to fit in with the crowd and be one of yeah. their like golden go- goats. But I'm also luckier than a lot of people. Like I mean, because subs- the subscriber count and all that shit doesn't really mean shit no more. It, it's true. You have. I a mean, I'm known. I mean, I'm known. I have a following. A lot of people know me. People like Jeff and you know drunk Billy and all that shit. So I have more notoriety than most guys that's my size on YouTube, as far as like subscribers and stuff. But this isn't my main channel, by the way. My main channel's got a little bit more subscribers than this, but it I get it back the eighth. Nice. Hopefully. Good. And then the twelfth I'll be suspended again. Yeah. <laughs> They'll be like, you put something eight, deceptive in your thumbnail. Eight months of this year I have been suspended from live streaming on my main channel. Craziness. Eight months. That's insane. Yeah. Uh, it's ridiculous, man. And it's all because like one 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 suspension was because of a video I did two years ago. Oh fuck! <laughs> it's called Nazi sizing. Nazi sizing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, was, it, was the, it was a skit video. It was about it was about a flaming gay guy trying to lose weight, and he found an exercise program called Nazi Size. And oh. I, I know the part of the skit that got me in trouble was the exercise called throwing the Jews in the oven. Throw the Jews in the oven. <laughs> Throw the Jews in the oven. Um, yeah, so. Oh, fuck. Someone got triggered. Yeah. yeah some, sounds like. Probably some fucking dumb Jew. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Allegedly. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, but, my God. No, it was. I, no, what it was was my stalker. Oh. Hey, uh. I mean, he admitted he. I mean, the dude is crazy. And, you know, people want me to get a P.O. box. If I got a P.O. box, that stalker dude would absolutely send me a box of shit. Wow. Yeah, probably his own. This dude is crazy, Jeff. I mean, he's contacted my mother. He showed, I was in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He showed up outside my hotel making videos. Yeah, you tell me about this guy. This yeah. dude is fucking freaky, man. Wow. Hey, Monk, have you ever considered filing a restraining order? Look, you see what happened to JJ? Um, the stalker showed up. He she called the police. Stuff they didn't do shit, dude. This dude took a flight to her state. Showed up outside her apartment, calling her and making you know and shit. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, there should there should. should, What I'm saying is that that there definitely should be more of a legal precedent to deal with this shit because you know it's a it's a significant problem if only for you know a certain part of the population. But there are so many crazy weirdos out there on the internet that'll come and try and fucking hate you because of something that you fucking say. So, is JJ talks still around? Yeah, she she yeah she still still talks. She still talks, but she's she's real busy with school and shit. Mm. And she also has a, a, a Twitter account, another Twitter account out there. I, yeah. I can't say the name, but if you find it, you will be very happy. Yep, it's true. <laughs> Just saying. <Okay. laughs> because, ooh, little girl go crazy with some nakedness. Not naked, but, oh God. 
Hey, you know, uh, hit, hit, uh, hit me up later, all right? <laughs> all right. All right, jeez. He's fucking hot, dude. JJ's any other, beautiful. Any other questions from the chat? I don't know. Now I'm thinking about JJ's tits. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's all Pimp can think about. Hey, Pimp, I was told by an SJW that I'm a slave to Nazis. No, that was the Jewish people. Yeah, oh, my. Ooh. Christ, Pimp Monk, I fucking love you. I love you, too, person. Person. Well, I mean, you can't say dude or female because you're assuming their genders. Their gender, so yeah, I say yeah, they're bender. They're bender gender. They're gender bender. Yeah. yeah, dude. One of the funnest things that ever happened to me was when I was in Philadelphia for the first time, and yeah. there, and there was an SJW convention at the hotel I was at. Right. Oh man, it was so fun because uh, there's this little black chick out there sitting in there smoking a cigarette. When I was there, I had two or three people with me. And she had a hat that said, unapologetically black. And I looked at her and said, you shouldn't apologize for being black. She said, yeah, I know, right? I said, has anybody ever asked you to apologize for being black? And she looked like I had punched her in the fucking gut when I asked oh, her the shit. question. Because she's like, no, but that doesn't matter. Well, yeah, it does kind of matter when you're saying you're unapologetic. Nobody, nobody wants you to apologize for being black. Yeah. Just a dumb fucking statement to get people's attention. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm unapologetically small dicked. Just a bunch of people it, trying to pretend right. like they're making an impact instead of actually trying I'm to do something. I'm going to start wearing a cap that says, don't hate me because I have a little cock. Okay. Yeah. I think that, that would, that, that'd be a very bold thing for you to do, Bent Monk, you know? I'm just going to whip my little dick out and say, here, I can stick it to a Cheerio without breaking it. No, I, no, no, you can't do that, Pimp Monk. Yet we, we don't live in yeah. we don't live in progressive enough times yet for you to do that. But Dude, I'm, I'm, we live in a society. Yeah, Might we be a soggy tree. We we right. live in a society, and it's and it's time for gamers. To you understand? Know my dick is so small when it sticks up in my belly. The girl fingers me. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! I have a fucking sex change every time I take a shower. <laughs> fucking bad, dude. Stick my thumb up my ass and hold my breath for it to pop out my belly. It's, it's just really uh -huh. bad. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, if Batman is ever black, is Michael Jai White the only one you can see playing Bruce? No. There's 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 other people. Um, Michael J. The dude who played Black Panther would be good. Wakanda. Yeah, Wakanda. Wakanda. Um, Wakanda. A lot of people would say Will Smith, but no. No, no. no. No, I wouldn't want to see a Will Smith, uh, Bruce Wayne. No. Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, fuck. I don't know. Damn, I don't know. Denzel in his younger day would do good. Yeah, no, Denzel probably could have pulled it off. He, he, he's, he's got the range. He's an amazing actor, though. I don't think he would do Batman. I don't know. He does a lot of shittier roles, man. He does yeah. some terrible fucking movies. But he's so good, though, as an act. John Q... Yeah. Fuck. Oh, yeah. That movie right there alone make you cry. I mean, money talks and Warner Brothers can fork up the cash. So I'm trying to think. Do you know any black actors could do Batman well? I don't, I'm trying to think. I can't think of any black actors that could fill the role now. Did you just say <laughs> black actors? Yeah, black actors. Black so, uh, Michael J Jaleel, whatever his name is, maybe the guy. I don't know. Spawn, he did great. Spawn sucked. Yeah, it did. It, it was Wesley terrible... Snipes though in his younger day could have played Batman. Yeah, that's a good one. That is a, Wesley that's a good Snipes one. and Blade was fucking great, dude. And I hate when everybody makes like Black Panther was the first movie hero. Black like, fucking Blade was awesome. Yeah, that's true. Yep. Dude, that shit was. Rotten. I just recently went back and was watching the Blade movies, and I was I was shocked because I was like, these are a lot better than I thought they were. These they are were fucking really great. Good. They were good, dude. They were, you know, they were really good. Um, we got like five minutes of tips. If you enjoyed the show today, if you enjoyed Jeff and yeah, me please. bleeding to death live, and, and Jeff's yeah. always a great guest, man. He just yeah, he is. He's the best. Uh, uh, and you know, I just want to say, I'm not trying to kiss his ass or blow smoke up his ass. I but I truly do like Jeff now. I mean. Me and him share a lot of the same fucking sense of humor. I just have the balls to say some of the shit. That <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, that's true. And uh, but he's great. And um, yeah, dude, I I want to work with. Him. I want to actually do a like a collaboration video. I really do. That'd be fun. That yeah, would man. be awesome. Yeah, man. That'd be cool yeah. shit. Yeah. So next time I come up in that area, we may do something. Absolutely. I've never actually been with. 
I've been through Oregon. I need to go like visit you guys in Oregon. Oregon's great, man. It's uh it's a beautiful fucking state. It yeah. sucks right now. Like yeah. well, I mean, you know, the coast like for for winter months and shit, like the coast is actually still pretty cool. It's it's cold, but like it doesn't snow or anything. It's actually pretty temperate for the hey. rest of the state. Pam, but, it, Pam, if you visit Oregon, you got to roll some stones with my buddy Matt, man. Well, I am actually planning on going like Skip Top Live is out in Oregon. He does that. Oh, uh, yeah, fucking, yeah. What's that shit he does? Uh, the LARPing. He has a whole fucking. Yeah, yeah. He has. He owns a business uh, of LARPing. Didn't, uh, I think Jeff did what you're going to try and do when you go there. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I went on, I went on his show. Uh, we went to the demolition zone <clears throat> where you get all dressed up and just break a bunch of shit. It was fun. Yeah, I was going to do some shit. Like, I was going to do, a, I was gonna do like a little small documentary of that. Sweet. And then uh, I don't plan on going out there. So when I go out there, me and Jeff go tear. He going to take me to cool bars. Yeah. I need, I, I love dive bars. And, oh, dude. And I hear oh. that Oregon has the best titty clubs. It does. Yeah, no, hands, dude, in the, in the whole fucking country, Oregon it's has hands sad. down. I mean, yeah, I've heard that everywhere. Stuff. I mean, look, and it, it, you've got to be great to be better in New Orleans strip clubs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, and I heard they're better than New Orleans strip clubs. So, fuck. Yeah, dude. No, I, Portland especially. I mean, like, don't don't ask Ben and Billy because I took them to literally the worst fucking strip. Well, club that's in where Portland. I want to go. Oh no, no, oh, no, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the like the the Portland's got the best and some of the worst. We went to this place called Mary's Club. I dragged Billy the Fridge and and Ben there. This place, there's no DJ. Mm -hmm. There's a <laughs> there's a fucking jukebox, but it's on stage, and the stripper has like this tiny little stage, and she's dancing and shit. And then all of a sudden, the music stops, and so she goes around and starts like demanding people give her quarters. Whoa, quarters. <laughs> And then she she like takes the quarters and like puts them in and starts playing. And she's like forty five or something, and she's stripping. Yeah. And I was like, damn, okay, you know, whatever, blah blah blah. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking that she's all janky and shit. But then this this crazy lady, like forty five years old, not not the prettiest woman in the world. Yeah. Buck naked, fucking grabs her leg and and stretches it straight up. Does like a standing split. Whoa. And she ain't a thin woman either. She a big girl. God damn. And I'm like, what the fuck? Woo! I got him. Yeah, what you the fuck? Her, I'm gonna you start throwing money at her. It's like, amazing. Cool. Yeah, but I, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna come out there. I heard they had some great ones, so I'm coming out. I love titty clubs. I know a lot of yeah. people are like that's wasted money. I don't care. Uh, I gotta admit, it's not wasted money if you have a good time. It is, well, I did. I see. I don't normally do this, but I was in New Orleans one night, and I went to that titty club, and oh, that yeah. little black stripper was on me, and. I did pay for the pussy. No, Four hundred dollars, right? Yeah, I ended up spending like eight hundred dollars at home. Eight hundred dollars! Oh my god! I was very shamed as I walked out the bar. I ain't gonna oh lie. my! Oh. But yeah, she was. It was good though. I did ejaculate. So. Oh, that, nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. And also ejaculated with Landon. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly, Dude, Landon. Mm -hmm. I, I, for this guy, I, if it wasn't for this guy, I wouldn't have done a lot of the shit I've got to do. He's so awesome. And when I went out to San Jose, he, uh, I did, took one of the my bucket list items. I got to go to Alcatraz. That was one of the things I always wanted to do. And he took me there, and it was really cool. So that was one of your bucket list items. Why? Yeah. Why? Because it's Al fucking it's, cool. It's, it's an amazing place. It's awesome. Yeah, no, I mean, it, yeah, it is cool. It, it definitely is cool. Let me get one of your bucket list items. I was actually get out of the fucking house and go to Walmart. Go to Walmart? Fuck yeah. Walmart. <laughs> Fuck Walmart. Anyways, it's time to end the show. Yeah, it's time to wrap it up. Yeah. Thanks, it's been Jeff, fun, folks. Thanks, All thanks right. for hanging out. Yeah, thanks, Landon. Thank you, Anamancer. Thank you, everybody in the chat room. Tomorrow we have Barbara for you to see. Girl Does Rant won't be here. She was supposed to be, but she's sick. So, But Barbara will be here and other people. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you later, guys. Bye-bye.